Oh shit! Frankie, local boy, makes good. There's a whole, there's a whole like thing about how we're playing at Mulcahy's on News 12. No way! <laughs> I made the news, Mom. <laughs> it was like a news thing? Our biggest news channel on Long Island, News 12. We're a local news star. Just like, look at this video. It's like, it's actually one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It's just absurd. Well, that, I mean, that, that, play, that place is going to burn down now. You singing a pop punk? There are rumors that I may be doing a pop punk version of My Way by Frank Sinatra. It's the one song I can sing. Gonna go to practice today, um, see if it'll be able to work out, just like musically. Also, as you could tell, quite stuffed up, had this cold for about two weeks. Um, sick, sick season, maybe, uh, especially for yours truly, so uh, hopefully I won't sound as nasally, but we'll see. How many days until the performance? Two. You gotta get like a neti pot or something. Regrets. I've had a few, I mean that's still. Do you need a nose to sing? I, well, I don't know. But if I'm nasally, it's gonna, like right now my voice is visibly, well, oral, no. You can hear that my voice is nasally right now. I think the word you're looking for is sonically. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> you're not gonna say sonically? No. But, yeah, nasally. Um, I mean, some great crooners of our generation have a rather nasal voice. You say crooners and you won't say sonically? Crooners, that's a well-known thing. Sinatra. Sometimes just don't like to say No, words. we're talking about your band right now. Do, 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 I'm Frankie. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that was on camera. <laughs> Sold out. They're also the In the band. Right, yeah. What are they playing? I was talking Nine. Thank you. Didn't even finish. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 I like this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. 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 This I live the life that's full, I've traveled each and every highway, but more, much more than this, I did it my way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy Smokes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Smokes. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Smokes. Yes. Crowd goes wild. Yes. I give 30 seconds of applause. 30 seconds? <laughs> 30 second pause for applause and then. And now, the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention.
I don't know if that's gonna. I don't know if that's very punk, Tommy. Like on stage? Yeah. <laughs> have a composer stand for your delivery. <laughs> That's the only way we could do it, really, is if you had a composer stand. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay with having a composer, composer stand, like one of those? Yeah, I think that fits the vibe well, in case I forget the lyrics at all. Have an iPad up there on the composer stand? Yeah. Nobody is expecting me to be like a great singer, so I just gotta be good enough, be a good showman, good performer, and then fucking, you know, hopefully tear the house down. So PFT wants you to practice in a suit tomorrow? Yeah. I'm not sure why, I don't know if he was serious, but I guess just to really feel the vibe. Dude, you wanna, when you get up there, you wanna feel like you're about to like have sex with that room. You can't yeah. be uncomfortable. I, I'm that, that room's gonna be mine. It's gonna be mine. It's and I'm gonna, maybe I'll stage dive. We'll see. Oh my god, I'm uh, reading this. You can't fall for what she fell for. No, the, their intern did the same exact thing. It's Sent the, somebody the $600. Scam of all yeah. Time. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looks pretty yeah. dumb. <laughs> oh my god. They're saying like scratch off she the coat and send them. and send them send me pictures while you're still in this door. She went to a Walgreens and a Target. Does she think that Erica is a crackhead? <laughs> Yeah, Erica probably just needs the six hundred dollars for her crack. The eBay. only job yeah. Erica eBay. is assigning eBay that to gift cards. is Daniela. Probably that's it. That's it. They're Nobody eBay else is gift cards. Them. She bought physical eBay gift cards. You are calling me. You are calling me. <laughs> yeah, because Trisha blocked my Trisha number. Why did she block your number? She's fucking gonna reread her blogs. Like reread your fucking blogs. That's my number. Like I have to change my number now. Unbelievable, so selfish. In her blog? That's no, a doubt. It's not selfish, she's just careless. Like, she didn't intentionally do that, she just didn't reread her shit. She didn't save your number. What? She didn't save your number, right? Okay, well, regardless, just make sure you don't fucking put somebody's yeah. number in your blog. The Daniela versus Trista robbery continues. No, that's, that's actually a uh, What? I mean, honestly, shout out to the stoolies because. I wouldn't have never known, and some of them are actually really funny texts. Like someone's offering, <laughs> oh, someone's <laughs> offering to get me like, someone's, oh my god, they're yeah. saying horrible yeah. shit, and you're like, no, give me like gift cards. Like it's great, I might respond. <laughs> I might make a couple new friends. Hi, sup? Might want to tell Trista to take your phone number out of her blog. Concern Stooley. Daniela from Barstool. Krista Kirk just put your shit all over the internet on a blog post. Krista. FYI. There was a really funny one. Let me look for it. Hi, it's Erica. Can you please go to Target and buy five hundred dollars gift cards? <laughs> That's and send on her own. That's done. on her own. Also, please text me your social security number and mother's maiden name at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Fucking. Frankie, can you talk about it? Did you blog my number? What? Trista blog my phone number. You want to talk about it? Do you guys talk no, about it? No, we haven't talked about it. Do you know that Great happened? Fun. I just found that. Like, uh, Fucking stoolies are blowing on my phone. Does she know that she did it yet? I don't know. Oh, do you want me to? I'm gonna go back to my desk. Okay, hold on. Because I checked, I checked within four minutes and it was it was gone. I texted. But in the it was at the bottom. There was a comment, but all the comment there's no. It's not even in the comment stuff. Like no one like commented. Oh, this is Daniel's number. It stopped. So. How many did you get? I we, got like I've gotten a couple. One text was like, "Hey, it's Eric. Will you go get me a fifty dollar gift card and, <laughs> <laughs> and send me your social security number?" <laughs> 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 it's coming so fucking dumb. <laughs>
She still probably would have sent it. <laughs> yeah, she probably would have sent her social security number. So your phone I didn't know that in public. Yeah, I mean, that's I crazy. She's mad. I'm pissed because I'm going to have to change my phone number. I was out taking Can care of her. Can we take some of the calls? No, I wasn't. Why? Well, you one, I was taking a piss in the bathroom and I got a call. Girls say that? I say that. Is that bad? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'll Tingle. be. I'll pee. Okay. Are you two have beef still? You seem like you have beef. Still? Because, uh, aren't you, didn't you tattle? Somebody tattled. You tattled. I tattled. I'm, I'm, tattled. I'm just an office snitch. Well, and I can't publish, so whoever was looking it over didn't Don't throw other people on the bus. I'm just saying. I just I looked it know. over. Oh, you can't say saying, don't throw other people, people on the bus when you just <laughs> said you're the queen of throwing <laughs> I am the queen of it. Yeah, yeah, so only, only you can do that. Not as I tell. Okay, well, whatever. You put my number out there. I'm sorry. Okay. It's deleted now, I believe. Yeah, it, it got it got taken down like cause right away because I texted somebody and said take it down. It had to be. How mad are you? You're so <laughs> well, mad. Well, I'm just stupid. Like, it's a stupid error that I'm probably going to have to deal with later. And I, it, even what if you think deal the worst with cases? Case is, if, if, well, I just don't like that my number is out there. I just don't like that. Do you want to post my You can post my number if you want. No, I would do never it. do that. I don't I care. Eye for eye, that's old school. That's like old I, West revenge. I don't, I don't care. Like I don't. Well, care. you clearly care. You're very mad. Is that it? See yeah. you later. Bye. See ya. Angry. Not happy at all. Um. So one of the. I mean, that's just how, how does Dave expect me not to be mad? It's just something that should have never happened. But whatever. He thinks it's all fun and games. She definitely there's no hatred for you. Yeah, she does not care for. Her. I don't know because she came in here and she she found zero humor in her number being out in the wild right now. Yeah, she definitely didn't like that one. No. Trista had everyone here like the day before we went on break giving their New Year's resolutions and I we were coming up with my eyes like I don't know, like work out more, but I say that every year and it never happens. And then we were like really talking about it and I was like, oh, I probably should go home and spend time more time with my family. And I said something along the lines of like it's hard now because I have a new boyfriend, I have new things going on, I'm going out more, and she wrote that on the blog as, boyfriend cuts into family time. I would never say those words. Like, that's my boyfriend, I don't like, I don't talk about him like that. I especially don't talk about him at Barstool like that. And she wrote, she had the, took it upon herself to write that. So I got pissed and I texted her and I was like, that's not what I said, please delete it. Because people were already in the comments still throwing shade at my boyfriend and I don't like that. So I had her delete it. it t I took personal offense to it. And that was the end of, that was the end of the story. So yeah, that rubbed me the wrong way. Then her carelessly tweeting out more, blogging my number today, rubbed me the wrong way. And obviously like the chit chat thing, I mean, we were fine. That wasn't like a bad thing, but it's just like instance after instance where I feel like she's a little bit careless around here. What percentage of everything do you think was intentional? I don't know. I, even if it's intentional or you're just being careless, both are equally as bad to me. So I think either way, something has to change. We got a What's going on in there, Frankie? At the very, very end, like it was like she, it was whatever, and we brought in Jessica, and it ended, and then we played his song, to go out, and she goes, "Is this music ironic?" And that was like a call. It was just like declaration of war. Damn, is she gonna dox her again? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all for a fight. We swap. We haven't had a real like. We need. I feel like we've been missing a real like in office like fight declaration. This is beef, rough and rowdy. Tune in, <laughs> Miami. Just about to go home. Yeah. Not a lot happened today. Pretty boring day. Sometimes you need content. The content finds you. Tough day. Go away now. No. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, good luck just trying to carry me out. I might just fake a heart attack. I can see your brain is just spinning right now with ideas. Uh, <laughs> unhand me. Unhand me. Maybe I'll like try to get people to help me cross the street, and then just sprint. You know what would be funny is if you found out where Dave was walking and asked if he could help you cross the street and see if he notices. Yeah, and like have him try to help me cross the street, but then I'll like step off the curb and fall down, it's on and I'll blame Dave. Yeah. Yes. What's your name, young man? <laughs> that be good. You've you've injured me. Yes. That's kind of his thing, too. I have never encountered such a rude young man in my days. I'm very excited for the sneak in part tomorrow. I've been going through it in my mind. I think the best way to get in is to go into the fan entrance and then go through the security that goes from the fan entrance into the real place. Because if you go in the media entrance, I think they'll be looking for us. We're kind of wanted. 
Yeah, we've, we've run into some issues with NFL security in the past. Long, kind of, long for it. Kind of the bad boys of sports journalism. Yeah. You're looking at the bad boy right now. <laughs> she can tell. She can tell it's a bad boy. What's going on up here? Is this the rundown? Rundown or? set. Wow. Yeah. Pete, this is beautiful. It's a nice view. Very nice view. Yeah. Your eyes right can now. Can you take a pic? Yeah. Blue is the uh, Atlantic. Can you take take a picture of that or no? Yeah, I can. Do you want I'll take one right yeah, now. Yeah, just fire one off. Yeah, okay. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Am I smiling? No, you're giving like a hard smile. Yeah. But I got like one eye in the sun and one eye out. It looks fucking good. Dope. Yeah, give a soft smile on this one. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah. Chill it, man. How are you liking yeah, Miami so far? Dude, it's pretty good. Uh, what about I have a beautiful room and a beautiful view. It's uh, a far cry from a basement where nine people were sleeping on mattresses that were touching each other. It's better. Do you have a hot tub? I have a hot tub. I, it will not go filled all week. A cesspool for diseases at this fucking Miami fuck shack. I won't be participating. It's very swanky. I mean, it's too swanky for the occasion. You know what I mean? It's not very a business-like setup. I'm gonna keep my nose to the grindstone. <laughs> Caleb already tried to set up turntables on my shit. I said no, Caleb. I'm not having a party room. <laughs> you can have the party room, Caleb. Oh, so you tried to make your room the party room? Yeah, he's, that's not gonna happen. Smart. You're not gonna turn my room into a party room. I ain't partying, bro. I'm studying. The romper room, right on the balcony down here. And before I just came out here, and I was just yelling like, Miami, <laughs> let's go. Like that, like that. Just bring the energy way up, and that's allowed in this city, you know. That's like normal. Look at this. She's loving it. Everyone enjoying the vibes. Look at this big group. Back of your head looks really old, PFT. Thank you. It's really come together. How old does it look? About seventy-five. Perfect. This isn't even really about Miami. I was, I was, I'll say it, I was being a cunt. I was like, not jet lagged obviously, but I was just tired from traveling. I got up early this morning. I decided to get a little energy before I go drink tonight. That's big of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound, I saw Kevin's tweet. Like, that doesn't sound crazy. I was being a little bitch to everybody. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go sweat it out a little bit. And I'm gonna go drink a thousand margaritas. I think that's just difficult being an adult with alcoholism. Oh wow. Oh my god. One margarita. Two margarita. Ah. <laughs> That's all he's got. <laughs> if you really want to not get like give it away, you would get you should get some lifts, PFT. I'm serious. <laughs> if you were six one, like no one would it would it would be much harder to be like it's gotta be PFT. Because you would be cats standing next to each other with your like, some, it might, it's like. You might fit the profile? Yes, yes, correct. Maybe I don't wear sunglasses. That's not true. Maybe this is one time I don't wear sunglasses. Like open up my camera or something like that, I'll hand my phone and it'll be open to like uh, pornhub.com or something. Can you, I sometimes screw you with my phone. I opened an email. I opened it, I clicked the link to get the free, the free pizza. Offer from my local establishment. <laughs> I, I was just looking for singles in my neighborhood. <laughs> I, I was just trying to order a big sausage pizza. And I must have taken a wrong turn online. <laughs> <laughs> what? You look like Tails from the Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> You like can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't move his face. <laughs> it, look, it looks like, like Hank said it, it looks like the Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You look like you just woke up from like cryo sleep. I mean, I've technically never been banned. Oh yeah, I guess I was. They really did some good work on these crow's feet. Thank you. I mean, that's detail. So I need some glasses. Anyone got reading glasses? This is like seeing the future part of my take goes another 20 years. For you, PFT, more like... 20. <laughs> <laughs> I should smoke, I should smoke a cigar before we go in. 
really get some gravel in my voice. <sighs> I'm like, the, the thing with this makeup is like, the way it works is like my, I can't open my eyes all the way, so I'm like, I'm naturally tired right now. Like would this you, is as much as I can open my eyes. It feels heavy. So you, I'm just like, <sighs> which is especially the size they're like yeah. white, yeah. silver fox. It's I think hilarious literally... because I literally dyed my hair today <laughs> to make it not gray. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. I, I, is it gonna wash out tonight? Yeah, it'll wash out. Tonight. Yeah. Need to dye I literally dyed my hair today. Yo, you're in your room. That's a lot more gray than I thought. Alright, we're just going in there real quick to take a picture of the big cat. And not the cat over there. Dude, your, 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 your legs look so small. It's like the lights, they like turn all the lights off in that room right next to it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta find like a real, we gotta find a real fat suit thing that like just is a big belly. <laughs> From the back, it looks very convincing. Yeah, because with the big belly, <laughs> with the big belly, I like naturally will lean over like this and just walk a little bit like, yeah, labored. <laughs> Your ass looks so funny. Yeah, so I need to, we need to get a belly, Hank. We need to find that. What like, do you mean like, a belly? Like, we need to find, like, go, even go to a prop store or like... The flashlight brings out the... Yeah, no, we can't do the flash. We can't do the flash. Why? <laughs> Beach, Florida, Dade County, where several of my friends have moved down to sled. Girls gone wild! Like the guy from uh, Saw. <laughs> Whether in gambling or not in gambling, this is going to be the best move for us because it opens the door to so many different things. So this is um, this is one of those symbiotic relationships. It's not a takeover. They don't own us. It's a partnership, and it's one that seems to make sense. The stock before we came in, the company before we came in, seemed to be on the right trajectory. Right? It wasn't like a desperate company looking for us to bail them out, and vice versa. We're not a desperate media company looking to be bailed out. So it looks like two uh, two successful parties trying to get more successful. I, I like it. I'm, I mean, I won't comment on the stock. I happened to buy some today, and it's up it's up just over nine percent already on some heavy ass volume. So I mean, sometimes you see somebody buying somebody else, and the stock will come in. So Wall Street is pointing to it being a good deal. I talked to a couple of friends. They said that they like the way the deal signs up. I got nothing wrong with this. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of free hotel rooms and shit. So one win, right? Right. Hell yeah. Changing dealers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Meeting Erica. I've been working on this on like nights and weekends for six months, like a long time now. Um, I think it's what we're doing is revolutionary. Like it's truly revolutionary. We are going to like we're the future of media. Um, they have pen. They have this like massive footprint that they they've never brought young people into. We're gonna bring stoolies there, we're gonna make it together. Everyone's gonna say we suck and can't be done. Um, but I'm so bullish on it. I think that we're gonna change the casino business and the sports betting business the same way we're changing the content and media business and we're still gonna be funny, we're still gonna do entertainment. We're just now gonna bring stoolies instead of going to like a parking lot in Youngstown, Ohio, like we're gonna have a good place to go. I don't know what I would do if I was faced with the decision where, hey, Dave, here's an insane generational amount of money, which is pretty much what I have now. If I was given that, but you're going to lose half the guys you've hired, I think I'd probably turn that down, as crazy as that sounds. Like, there is a degree of loyalty I have to the people, as long as I feel like you're working hard and giving an A-plus like effort here, I have pretty intense loyalty to like our guys, the guys I hire. That's why nobody ever leaves for the most part. So that would have been an interesting one. Luckily, I wasn't forced with it. Like Penn shares the same exact vision kind of I do. So it's crazy. I've been, I've known about it for a little bit. It's been, uh, it's been, I don't I think it hasn't really hit me. Like when you see, 
I was th I was thinking a lot like late, late last night actually when I, when I was Erica actually like had me I got to sit in the call where they like go around the room and they're all like I signed the agreement I signed it was surreal to hear it and then I think I got home and I fell asleep at like 11 and then I woke up at 3 and all I could think about was it was like the first time it hit me and I was thinking a lot it's like sentimental it's weird I, I haven't had the sentiment even when Dave sold it a few years ago it didn't hit like now and I think it's because it's such like an absurd number it feels like like 15 million I felt like that was low I felt like we were bigger than that and like now it's like shit it's like almost a half a billion dollar company and like I thought I guess the first day I worked at Dave and it was like sitting at his kitchen table and it was like what do I do today it's like you have to message and in, in, in literally friend just random people to like beg them to come to an event and it's like crazy to see where we are there when it's just me and him and then Jenna um, as well and now it's like, you know, 200 of us and it's a half a billion dollar company and all these like, everyone just like believing in Barcelona and all the people here that care about it. Um, I, I, it's just, it's, it's surreal. Uh, I don't think it, I don't know. It's unbelievable. I have unlimited money now. Like I have unlimited money. It's crazy. That's so crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. I mean, crazy. I have unlimited and It's money. weird that I'm so happy for you because it, like, it doesn't affect my bottom line at all. But I'm like, man, me and Dave at Starbucks, that motherfucker's paying. <laughs> yeah, right? I think now I, I don't know if that's just Next like... time we go to San Diego together, I'm getting the sea bass, my friend. I mean, a million dollars is personally for me. I can't com comprehend how much money that would be in like a bank account for $450 million this company would be worth and for Dave to have unlimited money and for people like Rob Equity, like he and can't see Big Cat guys, like it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm happy for everybody. It's incredible. I, I got I brought, I got hired in 2014. There were probably 10 bloggers, just a couple of us spread all over the country. And then literally from the time I got hired, and even way before I got hired, it's always just been going up, up and up and up and up. I was there for a couple of years, then the churn thing happened. We all moved to New York. Now the pen, uh, now the pen thing is happening. It's just this place is unlike anywhere else. It's unlike any other company where it's always on the up. I mean, it's great. It, it's kind of I think it's you know rising tide. Why did I keep sharing, screwing that up? Uh, rising tide floats all boats. I think it's great. Uh, it's what I've always wanted to do. So it, it's win-win. Uh, <laughs> fucking rich. That's nice. But now I want to like own a sports team. So that's the next stop. I called my sister and told her like, you know my niece and nephew, and like I can pay for their college and whatever, whatever else you need. That was cool. Um, but no, it's just going. And now I'm watching the stock like a fucking every 10 seconds, not like I'm selling any time. But it's up like almost 10%, which is fucking awesome. Uh, is awesome. I think I got And I, I've been off, so I haven't been able to fire a lot of funny, witty tweets yet. <laughs> so this is Jay. Um, Jay Snowden is the CEO of Penn National, and he's our partner. So big round of applause for Jay. <laughs> thought because we're parting with Penn National, Luck Be a Lady by Frank Sinatra would be a good song. <laughs> so, I don't know if I hard because it's very spur of the moment, but I'll pull up the lyrics and welcome aboard. This is our first gift to you. <laughs> Luck be a lady tonight. Two, one. Damn, okay, I was late on that. One more practice. Three, two, one. A zillion beers, I get, mm. and I was early on that one, fuck. Three, two, one. A zillion, oh. No, I fucked that up. That's on me. Three, two, one. A zillion beers, I get drunk off a zillion, zillion beers. beers. Liquor's nice, but a cold one makes me cheer. Zilly, zilly, I like chilling. Young and cold with my beers. beers. An imperial, a miller, a cores, a butt distiller. Control, all the leaks are bases. Liver in, in my prime. prime. Got coronavirus. Kill it off with just one lime. Every second, minutes, hours. Give me a hundred, I'll devour. Rice and beers like cauliflower. Drink a beer even in the sh 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 shower. Is it still going? Don't stop drinking. There you go, you're good. Sorry, you're good, good. Fuck. <laughs> you're right there? Yeah. You're gonna fall. I told you it was gonna be like I'm 20 takes. You gotta, you gotta go like see doctor. To, I'll just pretend to try, like chug one. You gotta see doctor like cut that at the end of this. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'll leave that in. Yeah, cut it for a fucking Broad clip. Scenes. Yeah. Broad scenes. Broad scenes. <laughs>
<laughs> the show is just where's Dana and Dana's How much pussy. weight is this? That's uh, 25 on each side, so not very much. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's 95 total. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's easy. You should rep this. We going? Mm hmm. I'll is it on me? I'll start repping. Go. Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> I shot it right away. <laughs> swallow. Swallow. <laughs> Boo cock, yes. <laughs> I can't. Uh, one more, do one it to a failure. That's the only way we're gonna muscle. I'm done. I one can't more. see. One more. One more. I can't. You don't need to see, bro. It's your chest. Two more. Right, one more. Two yeah, more. Two more. Two more. Go. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> no. My hood has like a puddle in it right now. Dude, that was that Jeez. was incredible to watch. His entire face is just covered in beer. His eyes, his eyes were like little lakes of beer. Like a volcano or <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, I gotta watch you walk in the walk. I didn't break anything. anything. Did it break anything? Yeah, just walk down it, walk I in think there I'm with the face. beer in hand. No, leave it on, bro. You're walking in the walk alive. <laughs> no, I, I actually don't want Dave to yell at me. No, no one's gonna tell you you're drinking. Bro, <laughs> 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 walk. It's all walk behind all these beers. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> I like how I like how he's like, no, I gotta get the sweatshirt off. His entire hair is just so. <laughs> Let's go, Dane. We're going to walk the line. Let's go to don't, walk the line. Don't walk. We're not. We're coming away. We're not. Semantics with Dave is the only thing I'm concerned about. He will pull some type of spin zone. So I think something's up. He's Dave Portnoy. He always has something. So I don't know what it's going to be. But he has semantics. He has spin zones. He always has some type of out for him always being the winner. Part of me thinks we're operating at a loss because of how many different designs like we have. But It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. We're gonna get 3,000 copyright violations sent to us. I mean, they're all like he's like Buzz Lightyear. I don't think we can use Buzz Lightyear. That's just my, but he should do. There's a big one that I thought of, and I don't know how he's, I mean, he's doing great, but it's like, um, he should do zillion beers just in the NASCAR font. Like I'm going to Daytona this week and we have like the rights to it. That would be a big one. Yeah. I'm rooting for him, it's not like, it is my mind, 100K, but he's gonna do it on his own. I mean, also, some people I'm hearing grumbling, like there was an explicit rule, like you can't use Big Cat. The price was restructured, but I don't think the, like the rules around it. So that could be a technicality. I don't know that we'd find a, a unbiased court in America. Like we couldn't, we'd have to go like a real court because he clearly used Big Cat and it was a huge, like without Big Cat and that part of my take, that was a huge bump for him. Massive. So, you got a numbers update? You got the numbers update. You're getting pipeline to yeah, like sensitive I think information. You have more up to date than me. I heard this morning at like eight. I got ten. It was like a hundred. You're at like six hundred. Last night I had, I had a hundred in one day. Uh, yeah, it's six oh four. Right now. At, at that was at. 10.07 a.m. Also, there's underground grumblings about, uh... Brady? No. Uh, Big Cat. What do you mean? I'm just saying there's grumblings. No, that's not grumbling. You said that was for the initial offer. Who said that? You did. Did I? Yeah. Really? So you can't have Big Cat help you... Get to 50K. And I didn't. I didn't use him once for that first day. And I hit it, and then I was... And I so did I then say you could use Big Cat? I didn't use him. He's been doing it on his own. Like he's been retweeting on his own. I've never asked him to do anything. Yeah, he invited me. Yeah. That's. But I'm asking, was that? Like but you good? didn't. You don't pull that semantics bullshit. <laughs> no, you've been using me. Well, yeah. I mean, you 100 percent are using me. But still. So where are you at? He's trying to do semantics. We're at 6:04 as of an hour ago. I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Well, nice job. No, oh, yeah. So Dave's dad apparently is here. Mike Portnoy is here, and apparently he's bringing a guy that he thinks should be the next me. It's like a whole planned thing. It's nuts. He yeah, flew down here or something. They're trying to get him in here. The only problem is, like, do I keep this secret from Dave? To is the is the secret factor important enough 
because the way Dave works, sometimes he's like, let's just go, let's leave, let's go home, let's go onto the plane. And then Mike Portnoy came down here for no reason. But he, he has to get in here. Mike Portnoy has to get in here. We can't get out. So it's a waiting game. Cousin Mike, welcome to Daytona. How you doing, buddy? I'm trying to help out my friend here, so I thought I'd get him in front of Frankie and Dave. I, I we are I already tried to get him in, and Dave told me forget about it. You got to apply like everybody else. So I thought we'd try something different. The only thing I have to find is how to flush the toilet. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll show you. Let me get in there and take care of it. All right. This don't one? worry. No, about it. don't you worry don't about you worry. it. I'm not worried. <laughs> I went to elementary school. I learned that in elementary school. So one time that when you leave, leave, you gotta flush. I stayed in someone else's bus. I was doing the same thing you were doing. I was never ever. Where is it? I just want to, for my own knowledge. You know something? Oh, I didn't see that. I pressed that, but nothing happened because yeah. I didn't press that side of it. Hey, that's all right. Okay. So, other man, I owe you. A big no, time. no worries. Crisis averted. I mean, that, that was a crisis averted. Ryan has basically changed his whole life. He's given up everything he had in this world to get here at this moment. At this moment. Now what's probably going to happen is that when my son walks in, he's going to say, what the F did you bring him here for? Which is going to make me feel this big. And I promised Ryan, I promised Ryan a position. I said, I guarantee you, Ryan is going to have a position. But I don't know what it's going to be. And probably is not going to happen. But I'm going to look like a fool either way. All right, I, I always look like a fool, so I'm used to it. <laughs> Pretty fucking cool, huh? I'm on day four, bro. Yeah, you are. What are these trucks doing? They're like the starters, so they go around. But they're on uh, the race cars. Yeah. I want to get you. I know. That's what I'm saying. We'll get some. You gotta get a picture. Sure. Man. You rock the house. Dan Speedy rocks the house. Nice. Thank you. Yep. Hey, I'm above the stock. What? Excuse me. What are you doing here? <laughs> I, I, what, here he is. I wanted to deliver my application for Frankie's job in person because you were so mean to me. Here he is. Do you know this? Cousin Trent. Applying for this man's job, and I wanted to see this how is, serious this is. This is, this is, is your that? former neighbor, cousin Ryan, and I'm trying to help a guy out. That's what I'm here for. If, believe it or not, I hadn't planned to come to this anyway. You planned? On I coming? had not. You, you've known me your whole life. You think this is something I would normally? No, go I can't to. believe you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, well, I don't know. I don't know how much you're minding your own business. Uh, I mean, you crashed. I mean, it's a little bit of a stretch to be like you're minding your own business. Wait a minute. This is a public facility. No, it is and not. No, I don't mean where no. we are this minute. I mean the NASCAR. The, the then, why, then why do you have fake credentials? I had a good answer for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, in order to, say, I, can I finish the sentence? When you're talking about somebody crashing something, you cannot crash a public facility. Well, why do you have fake credentials? I don't have an answer for that. They're not fake. Well, that's not you. Are you Pete Overmeyer? I got them from your guy. We, you were in an area you could not get to. So, big deal. So I'm I just wasn't saying. bothering anybody. I was sitting there minding my own business. But by, by nature of you being here, you are kind of like not minding your own business. Am I bothering you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you. We just parked, we parked the car, got out of the car, drove up here, got out of the car, and said we'll find them somehow. I, we got the, the lucky thing that we met all business people. And he, he got yeah, and he got the thing rolling for told us what to do, where to go. And that's how it happened. I, I we might have never found them if it wasn't. I think we would have been lost in the infields. Which would have been I almost fell out of that thing a couple of times. <laughs> All right, Debbie. So Daytona had a little rain delay. Final thoughts. We're heading back home. 
What did you think of your first Daytona? Great. It was great. The best, best experience I've ever had. I, I, I mean, I really appreciate what you've done for me. No, Debbie, I want you. People love you. No, no. I'm Frankie. Uh, Rudy. Yeah. What? Rudy. Rudy. I, I, I can't oh, don't worry about that. I know Frank. Dave and Debbie, I, I will do more. Dave and Debbie does Daytona, and who knows? What else? Once I find out what else you like, then we'll do it. Whatever. All right. For all I know, I got the big C right now. I'm tired, but I don't think it affects the people in this office. Right now, the DMP 500 plans on being open every day that the stock market is open. I can't withstand too many more days like today. Uh... It's early. Gambling's obviously shut down. I was very much getting ready for March Madness and excited. Um, stock market's taken an absolute beating, and I thought there was an opportunity. So I couldn't gamble on sports. I thought it was a good time to get in. I thought the timing was right. Uh, so once March Madness got shut down, I decided I'd dive into the day trading. All right, live from the DNP 500. Uh, I am a professional day trader now, blood in the streets. I capitalize. Day two, let's go. Day Trade City. At what price? Eleven dollars twenty-five okay. cents. So you're picking a level. It's at twelve something right now. If it hits that, then we'll get sell okay. back at thirteen large. We'll make a bundle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. And when you put in a sell stop, you'll yeah. ask me first. Yes. If for some reason. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll make a bundle. Yeah. We'll make a bundle. Yeah, we'll definitely, uh, <laughs> we'll make a bundle, and if you don't, then you'll lose a bundle, yeah. right? Because I'll pretend that it never happened. All right, so that's like an $800,000 worth yeah. of stock, okay. So as soon as the market opened, it opened down, it opened down big, it triggered a bunch of what they call, uh, it triggered a, a trading halt, right? Because you can't just keep stepping on the neck of the market. So as it goes down a certain percentage point, the market say, listen, we got to take a 15 minute break, get a breather, get bids in, have people kind of get a clear head. Uh, Dave has picked a spot already in one stock. So he's put in a bid. So when the market reopens, if it was to go down again, he's already kind of picking spots. So it looks like Davey Day Trader is going to be doing it from the long side today. It's going to be looking for discounts and then looking to flip it out for a couple of bucks. That's the plan. So market's going to reopen a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But that's the plan so far today. My gambling history, I would hope, would help. I, I'm maybe not panicking. I have a higher risk threshold. Uh, but it hasn't helped at all. And I didn't realize at the time that Corona it was before Corona really went fucking nuts. But I've lost a couple million just on that. Um, it seems to be very similar to my gambling. Like I'm just losing. He's, he's remaining calm. There's a flood on the third floor. We have no running water. The place is fucking falling apart. Dave is ice water, like this. I haven't seen that much reserve in a trader since 2003. And that trader was young Mike McCarthy. <laughs> well, Large is a former investment guy. Take a report. He knows a lot of terms, terminology. So he, I asked him to be my advisor. He said no, but he would tell me like the rules. That's to sell out a long position, so you can leave it out there. The only yeah. way we're going to get in trouble Eleven. with that yeah. is if you sell it with another order and you don't cancel that. Yeah. Then you'll be going short, yeah. which you don't want. So yeah. when we do go to do that, the only thing that we'll practice, I would think, you want to, yeah. is instead of making another order, we'll change that order. Got it. Like we'll cancel replace. Got it. All right. You think things are going to tank after this press conference? What's that? After the press conference at 10, things are going to go down super low? I, I don't, something's got to make people get a little bit more positive on it. I mean, people have been saying, when's the bottom, when's the bottom, when's the bottom? So at some point, somebody's going to say it's the bottom. I realize, like, my life literally just revolves around drinking, going out, and sports. And now all those are gone for eight weeks. I legitimately don't know like, what I'm going to do. Like, if I'm, like, am I going to, like, re read a book? Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, read, like, The Catcher in the Rye or, like, To Kill a Mockingbird. Like, this is where people show their balls. So yeah. You can do one of two things. You can just get the fuck out say, I made a huge mistake. Or you can show some resolve and stay in there. And I'm pretty sure I know what you're doing. Yeah. No. Right. This is, this is resolve. This is 
this is years and years and years of training these are, coming to this the is forefront. A, this is hours of, of training. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, but a different type you're of training. training for it your whole life with the gambling. Yeah, different, yeah. different. Still balls. At blackjack, when you're sitting there with your biggest bet you've ever made, and you're sitting there with a 16, and you see an ace with the dealer, and all the chicken shits run and surrender and give me half my money back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Either when the ace, uh, when they look, you know, they peek. Do they have blackjack? Nope, I'll fucking double down on that shit. I won't because it's not the right play, but <laughs> you don't surrender. Never. Okay. We're, so we're keeping an eye. Keep it we're eye. keeping an eye. And I'll keep you up on whatever I see. Real-time quotes are at a fucking premium today. I just need one, one like uptick. Just a little bump and then you sell? Yeah. Well, it's in there to sell, but it's like... You know, pen nine dollars and ninety cents. Insane. Let's see. Like right now, today, I'm probably down. How much money am I down? Down, down fifty-five grand today. I'm a fighter. This would be good content. It's too bad we don't have like anyone here to do like. This is all in stool scenes. It's like more real-time stuff. There it is. Five hundred. Boom boom. boom. Your right. order has been received, and now we'll see Boop. our order status. So now what? If you get now, you just have it set automatically. You're executed. You bought fifty thousand. You bought fifty thousand. You bought fifty shares of pen. Fifty shares of pen. and twenty-five cents. Beautiful. He's taking part in the rally, coming off the balls of its ass. What'd you do? You bought fifty shares of a stock that we both know at ten dollars and twenty-five cents. Oh, bro. Was that hard? Yo, to what's open? like a good restaurant? That there's like Chick Fil A on there. Can we buy Chick Fil A? Sure, you can. Come on over. Yeah, let's go. My next 300 I don't, Are they allowed to be open right now? Yeah. I think so. Let's go. Well, let's takeout's balls. open, so that actually might How about that? kind of be a genius idea. Balls. I, wear it on Chick. Wear I it on Chick. Get it on Chick fil A. Chick -fil -A. Yeah. Balls is right. Chick fil A. People need to get takeout. They're going to eat. <laughs> the Chick fil A stock is about to skyrocket, I'm telling you. People. All right, now you know, honestly, all the people in the city doing takeout. What's Chick fil A? What's his symbol? If you, if you live in the city, why would you not get takeout from Chick-fil-A? Yeah, but Pauls, I'm saying, can you buy Chick-fil-A stock? It's fucking Chick-fil-A. It's the best food they have in the city. Great point. <laughs> What's his symbol, Pauls? Uh, uh, I don't know how to find the symbol. I don't think they're a publicly traded they're company, They're not a publicly traded company? You're sparking a pen rally. It's up to 1039. Was that like five cents? What'd you buy that? I don't know. Yeah, I think. 1025. Yeah, you're up, Pauls. <laughs> Dude, we're so bad. 1041 we're last, Pauls. So Fuck the coronavirus, who cares? We just gotta find a good publicly traded restaurant. Chick-fil-A. I don't know if it's publicly traded, they're saying it's not publicly it's traded. Publicly if you go to Chipotle, though. Chipotle, no, no one's gonna go to Chipotle. Right? You had me so fired up on Chick-fil-A, Balls. No, I didn't know Chick-fil-A was a, was a trade, publicly traded We're just company. sitting here. Yeah. Balls, you know what you're gonna do? At this rate, you're gonna ring the closing bell today for me. <laughs> Pen is so back. Pen is so back. Balls, <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's an honor, boss. To ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah, I know when you did it, it was a big deal. We have to, by the way, get a way to hang it up officially. Oh, pen went way down. Hey, pen, the, the the pen rally is over. I need pen to get to eleven and went back down under ten bucks. We're in the red now. Where do I get the updates? It was so close, boss. Where do I get the updates? You, you got. You can just like, like on your swipe app. right on your phone. Like right there. 989 it was all the way you you rallied it to, to like 10 yeah and these are the live updates on the these live updates, updates. Right, right. damn it balls we're, we're gonna get back we're gonna get back there what are we down like 40 percent today we're gonna get back up damn it balls positive vibes only i think tonight once dinner rolls around people are a lot of hungry. people are gonna get hungry and they're gonna I want like shake that. shack yeah, shake like shack's that. a big delivery thing a lot of people get shake shack delivered here i like that right now it's breakfast time it's only 11 a.m you just wait for the lunch orders to roll around the dinner orders i'm stuck because all my money's gone and there's blood in the streets. I'm probably down six figures today. We've got to come back, balls. I'm probably down like this is bucks. This is trading. This, this is, is. You know, like, you want to get an inside look at Merrill Lynch, JP Morgan, all the big houses. This is. This is how it goes down. People are going to want to eat Chick Shack. Order Shake Shack tonight. Not yet. It's only 11. The orders start rolling. Even lunch, I would think, would be better. No, I think like 1 o'clock. Well, we should check back at like one. One by one to one. two. One to two. Oh yeah! Look at this. Fantastic. <laughs> Dojo is the what is? Honestly, my first question. I'm not going to ask now. Save us for Stock Central. What's the dough? 
<laughs> don't know what it is. <laughs> don't, yeah, the dough. That's not no. real. It's the dough. Oh, well, no. Because cow, D, dough. No. Dow. Smartest minds in the financial community, right here. He might the, DMP, the DMP 500. But we're gonna talk away. This is this is the DMP 500. You guys, you guys stick with it. You can listen to all your advisors and see how things shake out. He knew that the uh, what do you call it? The uh, dough. He knew that burgers are gonna be in demand because delivery. That's why you talk to your people. That's why you talk to your people. I should have said, I should have frowned there. No, that's the I end. That's frowned. the end. The DMP uh, 500 close for the day. Uh, I'm down about, I think, quarter mil. Uh, Glenny invests in Shake Shack because invest in what you know. And he's down about 10. Bird guy, $10. Uh, it went downhill with you when you ordered Shake Shack and then you crucified them for their cheese being all over the bag. And uh, I bought a lot of pen today. And But the good thing about day trading is. We'll be back tomorrow. The DMP 500 will reopen tomorrow 9 a.m. And uh, we'll turn that frown around. And we'll smash Corona and eat burgers and gamble and be jolly. Why Shake Shack? Can I say that? Is that, is that fraud? That's inside of trading, maybe? Is that? I don't know. Don't post that if it is. <laughs> no, I think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Missing the office. We're getting stir crazy, stir, stir fry. Stir crazy. Stir crazy. We're not getting Those stir Those are fried. two very good things, yeah. <laughs> um, so I decided, I was feeling a little homesick for HQ, why not bring HQ to our home in Minecraft, right? So let's take the tour. This is the front of the building. This is 7th Avenue, as, as everybody knows, I'm sure. This is my bed that I have to sleep in if I'm go try, not trying to build it nighttime. Just for a quick glimpse behind the scenes, this is, I mean, this is what he's been doing. He's so bored <laughs> that he was like, I miss work. And I do too, honestly. I miss going into the office. I miss seeing all those people. Robbie took it to a different level and was like, I'm going to build the entire office on Minecraft. Yeah, so this is our lobby. It's a pretty nice lobby. Upstairs, business floor, another boring kind of floor. This is Erica's office. The CEO. Yep. I even got her couch in there, her TV, her desk, little chair. The attention to detail is top notch. Yeah, stained glass like she has. And then here's the equipment room, bunch of chests. You could actually open these, store things in there if you want wow. to. Wow. Yep. Um, so this is the content area. This is where I sit over here. This is my desk. This is the garbage can next to it. Uh, Jeff Delo sits over here. They haven't put his toys in yet. Um, this is, you know, Big Cat, Hank, Marty Mush, Double Vodka Don, Roan, PFT. This is the entire content area. Trent this is, is your me. Desk over here. I yeah. really do miss going into the office. This is your view. And yeah. Dave's office. You got I see Dave. I always people look at, in front of you. I always look at Frankie. I got Casey right in front of me. I got, yep. I got the dog right beside if me. You want to check out the rundown? Oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you really have been bored. Yeah, so 1-800-Flowers has bought this rundown promo. They've got all six TVs, the shelves next to them, the chick's room. Oh, it is purple. film Chicks in the Office. Shout out Rhea and Fran. How long did that take you? Um, <laughs> I'm not willing to admit that on camera. This is what it looks like from the top, by the way. Lighting configurations. Wow. So, uh... Hang in there, everybody. I know I am. And now it's time for a wellness check on Smitty. How's my quarantine going? Well, I'm whipping up on Clem, Rhea, Hank, and Mario Kart right now, so that's fabulous. But I'm also having trouble leading the likes of Private Balls, AKA Sergeant Stains, because he's a stain guy, AKA Benedict Balls, because he's a traitor, AKA Cowardly Balls, because he's a coward, AKA Failure Balls, because he needs to be a winner one time on the battlefield. And it's frustrating. Let's go again. Go up. Okay. You're okay. Go up. Balls! Balls! You leave men behind like no other! What are you doing, Balls? If we both attack at the same time, it's glory years! What are you nuts? What are you talking about? You fucking left me! What are you saying? We were both upstairs attacking him and then you just left! 
Very frustrating. Also, I think I have corona. That's not like a duke, I'm sick of shit. Transmission off. Hello, and welcome to Stool Scenes. America is under a state of duress. All over, people feel fear and all different types of emotions. Meanwhile, at Barstool Sports, everyone is focused on making some content, somehow. Everybody's working on it and, well, here I am to give you a little bit of an anchor in this week's Stool Scenes Quarantine Edition. BAM! We don't really, it's, it's tough for graphics right now because everybody's doing it from home, so I'm kind of just giving a little bit of a physical graphic with that. BAM! Quarantine Edition. Start things off at old Dave's apartment. All right. I, can Yeah, we can do the camera this way, right? Hey, do I have to do this the other way? Keep it this way. All right. I got all sorts of tools. I got three tools in case anything gets fucking dull. The fearless leader of Barstool Sports was doing what he does the best, reviewing pizzas. But since he's under a lockdown, he's had to do these pizza reviews remotely from his own home. He can't go to these purveyors of pies. So he decided he would order some pizzas from whatever frozen pizza merchants are out there in the world. He gave out his address in hopes that he would receive some pies in return. Oh! Look who it is, you motherfuckers, Jax. We reached out to Jax because a lot of people are like, hey, give Jax a shot. Those cocksuckers, and I don't mean that disrespectfully. I don't mean those cocksuckers disrespectfully, but those fucking cocksuckers wrote back to one of my guys. Hey, we love to do it. We can't send them one fucking pizza. We don't have time. We're in a pandemic. You think people have time? I'm getting boxes literally coming out of my asshole. I can't keep the boxes from coming. These cocksuckers, I don't mean that disrespectfully, couldn't send one pizza. Well, now I'm going to review it, Jackson. It better be fucking good, you cocksuckers. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Oh, yeah. He received a lot more than that. The packages started to pour in from left and right. And being the dexterous mind he is, Mr. De Portnoy El Presidente said, I'm going to make some content out of this. I'm going to craft this into a new type of content that this world has never seen before. I'm going to take all of these boxes and I'm going to un them. Unboxing. <laughs> Graphic. Think about it. Unboxing was born. They started unboxing and the internet went nuts. Somebody sent me this. Just a fucking tire. It was, <laughs> it wasn't fucking sitting there. I'm like, is this for me? Yep. DDT, there it is. There's the day trading firm. DDTG Global. Look at that fucking polo. This is going to be one of those performances you tell your kids, like, where were you when JFK was shot? Where were you when Landman on the moon? Ah, why is it dark? Where were you during the unboxing? And that is that. That's the first ever unboxing that I did. It got so out of hand that he had to have Spider and Kareem. Who are you? I'm Kareem. Why are you hiding pics from me and Dan? I was not hiding Then why squeal and crack? I saw the text message and Jack okay, Matt that pointed text message, to you. Right, I'll, under, I'll explain the text message right now. Coming over to his house to clean up the carnage of his daily unboxing videos, it was a beautiful start to a beautiful week in some weird circumstances. Let's watch. All right, folks, here we are. We are at Dave's apartment. He's up there on the third floor. Hey, the fire coming up. All right, thanks. Just like that. All right, here we are in the apartment. Clearing all the boxes. Check out this one. Looks like a mouse got in here. Elevator fully loaded. Fuck. <clears throat> How the fuck do you work this? It's not going up. Did I overload the elevator? Fuck, this is embarrassing. Three. Nothing like loading the elevator up, only to get trapped in it. Stay tuned, folks. Here we are with all the packages for tonight. Lots of mail coming in. What was the best gift you got yesterday? Well, I birthed the sun, so probably Randolph. 
feeling good. Uh, it's taken us a little bit longer than it has in the couple last days. Uh, today was like a seven and a half hour day. Uh, there's a lot of packages today for tonight's unboxing and uh, we're gonna keep going. Prediction for the number you got tonight? Uh, probably like 225. I think we got the most that we've ever gotten. I think it was at like 198 or 199 yesterday. And so today it's probably a little bit more. It's gonna keep growing. Here's what the pile looks like. It's taller than your boy. Lots of good stuff to be unboxed tonight. Stay tuned. We will also be on YouTube tonight. Check out this dual setup. Got the YouTube setup and then the Instagram setup. Pick your poison, folks. We'll see you at eight. Time for everybody's favorite quarantine show. The unboxing five. The question on everybody's mind across the country right now. How's Randolph doing? Here he is in the flesh. He is very much alive. Randolph. Randolph, swim for the people, Randolph. But he's getting an upgrade. Because no son of mine is going to live in what looks like a bowl made for watermelon. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Is he in there? Where'd he go? Look at how happy he is. Big league fucking chew. Fuck right. Now I'm playing ball. Now I feel like I'm being active. I'm doing something. I haven't figured out exactly how we're going to do it yet. Charity, whatnot. Yeah, blood. I bladed myself. I made myself bleed my own blood. One of these days, I'm gonna cut a finger off because I'm using heavy artillery and I'm just dropping it all over the place next to my fingers and shit. Look at this fucking thing. What is this called besides the fucking angel of death? Oh, it fogs up. I'm fogging up. Can you hear me? Can people hear me? I can't read. I kind of look like I should play for Auburn, don't I? I'd be probably fucking lightning off the line where you said, like, do you see that first step? <laughs> I hope you caught that. This thing shreds. I appreciate everyone sending the presents. Kiss your mailman, your courier. Tell Corona to go fuck itself. Mail just keeps fucking coming. Thank you for joining. Marty. What? It's Monday. How we doing, baby? What's going on? What are it's, we doing? What are we doing today? I think there's a tornado of, of a foot, and Rudy's been a real prick. Ever watch him? You ever think how he actually drinks? No, I their, don't know. Their tongues are dry. You know that? I don't know that. Their mouths are dry. But right now we're gonna go outside and uh, put our tables and our umbrella, and there's a tornado. Why do you foot. look like that? I don't know, man. I'm like losing a my fucking shit. Fucking mad scientist. I'm losing my shit. <laughs> that also gets to go right here. Now you're gonna hit it right where it was before. No, that's just too much space. Let's see. <laughs> right where it was. <laughs> now, how do we angle this fun. sucker? How do you angle this sucker, though? All right, so what does this one look like? That one has to hit that, right? That Bang. one goes boom, boom, boom. Has to hit this. All right, so it's so right there. No, up further. There you go. And it's going to angle like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, this is satisfying. Yeah. Take it out of here. Is there 
everything under there? No. No, I mean... Is this it? Hey, hey. Yes. Cool. One last freak out. I'll take it. Sad. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be domination. Go Tigers. Tigers by 40. End of an era, you know. All these blogs and tweets and updates later. It just ends tonight. Hopefully with the win. Let's do it. Let's go. We live? Yeah, we're live. We're, we're, yeah. I said 907 though, so we'll wait to set everything up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my skill tree. Got a skill tree for the big game. Oh yeah. Last upgrade. Clutch. Let's see, that will come out, come in handy. All right, let's do it. You wanna queue up, you wanna do the video? All right, so four, four months to the day was the start, was the birth of Gus Duggerton. Tonight is the end. Uh, he may come out of retirement sometime in the future. There have been people talking about Madden when it comes out, if college football gets canceled. Uh, I will always say that I would like to coach uh, at Wisconsin, but for right now, it is the end. It is the end. It is the end. So let's play the highlights of the last four months and uh, how much fun it's been, and shout out the chat especially. Let's do it. Was the first was the first Doug's game ever streamed at the Orange Bowl? Serendipity! Wow, that's unbelievable. What was I thinking? Doing your fake screen wheel? X. No! No! What was that throw? What the fuck just happened? Why? That shit was so stupid. Ah! Fuck! Oh shit! Ah! Oh, fuck! Touchdown. Yes, Ooh. Cam Sandwich. Is that number four? Mm -hmm. What a game. Cam Sandwich 27, West Virginia 20. Back on track. Oh, 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 Shoot out! Remember all those times? Shoot out! Should probably stop blitzing on every play. They made it look easy. I'm making it look hard. Oh, he's got a linebacker on him. Yeah! Oh, Let's go! How are you fucking face? That was fucking sick. That was so sick. That was so fucking sick. That was so fucking sick. You were like a fucking field jet. That was so fucking sick. Woo! You don't blitz dugs. You don't blitz dugs. Oh, oh yeah. gotta go out with a 50 burger. Fuck! Can't tackle! Screen is number one in the world. Fuck! Burns! Oh! Let's go! Chica! Burns! 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 To the house! Give me that burger! We'll get PFT a field goal. Did no, I think he's kicked one this year. Did you max out his stats? No. 35 yards! <laughs> perfect! <laughs> Mr. 35! No! Oh! Yeah, there we go! I thought I missed that for sure! I thought I missed that. Oh. Game. It's a championship. What a career. Oh. I'm sad. I don't want this game to end. Suck that tiger dick, bitch. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's check it out just for fun. Think so? Yeah, just for fun. You're gonna see an awesome national champions. Decline. Oh my god. Oh, no. no way. <laughs> How? You well, started at six three. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! I'm out though! I'll do it. When I come back, that's waiting for me. Someday when I come back, that will be waiting for that's me. Perfect. Unbelievable. Alright, Doug's out. Doug's out. Someday, someday, I will come back and that will be waiting for me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Last dance! 
I'm not saying no forever. I will come back eventually. That will be waiting for me. When you least expect it, Dougs will rise from the ashes and he will take Wisconsin to the promised land. Final game of Dougs era, retirement. He could come back sometime in the future. In uh, all honesty, it's been awesome. I was just talking to Jake. I actually don't know what quarantine would have looked like if we didn't do this. It, uh, it gave us something to do every single night, gave people to, something to watch. So thank you to everyone who watched. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna look back and be like, what did you do during coronavirus? Like, well, I created a fictional college coach and played fucking eight seasons, won three natties and had thousands upon thousands upon hundreds of thousands. I think we had like 2.5 million people watch over the course of the last couple months. So thank you to everyone. Doug's out. So the interns are here this week. So we decided that we would sit down, interview them, get to know them, find out what they do here, give them a chance to know us a little bit. And as an added bonus, I think a lot of them admitted that they wanted to murder Brandon Walker so that when I do it, they're gonna go to them first. Suspect, boom, I got an alibi. It wasn't me. So what's your name? Kevin Butt. They call me Carl. Kevin Butt? No, it's... Ke Kevin Carl. Kevin Carl mostly. Butt? Carl mostly. Can you somersault well? I'm pretty good, yeah. How'd I do? Not bad. Can you sit in that one and just move it over? Yeah, so you can <laughs> sit in that one and then change positions. That one, please. Well, don't leave it. Yeah. Like, always tuck in your chair. Yeah. Yeah. Raise your bar. <laughs> um, I've heard from the guys that you ask really um, hard questions. Mm. I don't think so. But that says more about them. I think it's mostly like, why questions. do you want to work here? Like, uh, what would you bring to the company? Oh. List five types of birth control. Your hair is interesting. Yeah. What position in lacrosse did you play? <laughs> uh, I played I play defense. That? A rope, a wrench, a parking cone, mm -hmm. scaffolding. How do you get out of the room? I walk out the door. You never said it was locked. There's no door. I, I go out the window. I climb down using scaffolding. That's so dumb. You dumb. just use the cone because the cone is the most one of the most fearful things of a human. What am I doing with the cone? Putting it somewhere and then you can, they'll scare it off. Scare what off? The opening. <laughs> scare away the opening so now I can't escape? The cone. The wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Rhea bullies Hank a little bit sometimes? I could see her like being the more like dominant personality. For sure. No, no. Imani wasn't a good guy though. I am not interested in Brandon Walker. We have a small app where we find uh, the nearest, uh, say, uh, brothel to your home. I think you're, it might be in your best interest to send somebody else to the brothel. Wrong. The correct answer is you ask what the name is. The most important part of any app is the name. That's just a fact. Our app is called Uber. You're running her social media? Yeah, but playing Brandon Fett too. Okay. What's the worst clip that you've cut up so far? It's just a completely different world for me. Like, me, Wait a like, second, you cut up clips? Of the pod, yeah. Of oh, Plan Brie uncut? Shit, yeah, fuck. Huh, what if your only options were a, uh, a guy that made $75,000 a year, mm -hmm. his parents probably made about the same. Where, where are we living? You're living in uh, Baltimore, in a Baltimore suburb. Okay. And your other option was a 50-year-old woman who makes $20 million a year. See, that's the thing, like, I'm not into women. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go with the man and mm -hmm. just- Slumming it with the dude. But then I have to. Mm, yeah. It's like, do you hate the poor? No, I don't hate the poor at Sounds all. Sounds like you hate the poor a little bit. No, I don't, I'm just saying I want to marry a rich man. Mm -hmm. What's your Twitter handle? Dukes, D-0-0-G-S. <laughs> That was so right, so obvious. <laughs> you should have known that before you guess. asked. Seriously, what's your Twitter handle? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's dude D zero zero G S. Okay. I'm <laughs> not interested in Brandon Walker, any and all part. If you were to frame somebody for murder in this office, who would you frame? Oh, oh Who's the most believable murderer? Brandon Walker. <laughs> for sure. I have a question. Do you surf? No, I don't. But I tell people I do. You just told me you didn't. But oh <laughs> shit. Do you hate LSU? Yes. Do you hate Coach O? Yes. This interview's over. Thank you. Oh wow. That was wonderful. Thanks. That was great. Uh pick 
the person out there who you think will be poorest when they're old. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Grind. Just grind. How? Work harder. Yes. Than anyone else. How? What does that How? look like? Just working my ass off. What does working your ass off mean? First in, last out, or while you're at work, you only work for four hours, but you do nothing but work during those four hours. First in, last out. All right, get down. And who is your Mount Rushmore Beatles? Uh, John Legend, Ringo Starr. John Legend? <laughs> no, I'm so mean. I fucked up. Guys, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're gonna use that. I don't look like such a dumbass. I don't think we could ask any more questions. That's good. That's good. <laughs> if you had to introduce a new piece of slang to the world, what would it be? Uh, for gambling, I, I kind of like funny. Like free money, fronty. So like it's like it's like if I got a lock in the house, like it's just fronty. Like you gotta take it. It's fronty. Okay. That's, Wait, like, that's a great answer. Yeah. I I, I, I like it. everything about you, dude. <laughs> What's your favorite piece of content that Barstool puts out? KFC Radio. The correct answer was YP dancing to Gloria with his little rat. It's still good. <laughs> it holds up to this day. Or when Glennie writes the ambiance and balls, it's always fun. Uh huh. <laughs> That's true. How would you truncate the phrase "Free Palestine"? Palestine. Uh, I'm looking at the Foreplay tweets recently. Do, are you on the Twitter account for Foreplay? Uh, yes. Okay. Which one of these was your biggest success? This clip of Tiger Woods, this picture of Tiger Woods, or uh, this graphic of uh, two different Tiger Woodses on it? How would you? Truncate the phrase like a free, free attorney. Oh, I just call that my dad. It's good. It's good. I was just trying to get you to say fraternity, but that's a better answer. <laughs> Who would I disrespect? Fuck boys. Fuck boys. <laughs> Glenny balls. No, that's not what I mean. Like that. He has an like... inflatable. He has an inflatable hot tub in his mother's house. That's a fuck boy. <laughs> Shut up. That's your real. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice looking. Like like That's dollar. just weird. I never put it together that he's. I think to be one, you just play girls. Like I don't think you're playing girls if you have a hot tub in your mother's. <laughs> Is uh, having a blonde and a brunette on a show diversity? <laughs> um, I mean, I go to Alabama, and they say if you have a brunette in your sorority, you're diverse. So yeah. So I mean, yeah, I guess. Give me your playlist. Yeah, you playlist. Yeah. Do you want like my actual playlist? Get, just tell me. Yeah, a, what tempo? You have, what's your yeah, tempo? I mean, levels by a lot of Avicii. Yeah. What's your yeah, tempo? Love that. What's your favorite tempo? One twenty-eight. Yeah, one twenty-eight. What's that yeah. sound like? Like levels. One twenty-eight. Give it. Give it to us. Boom. Boom. Oh 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 oh. And today, everyone's everyone's just jolly. Yesterday, everyone's. Uh, how you should be. He hasn't been in the office. He's been working out of the office. You just, let me start that again. <laughs> it's good to have you back. What? It's good to have you back. It's not good to be back. I'm going back. This is like a brief because I got to do the fucking, what is this? You seem a little tight. Tight? Like a little upset. I hate half the people work here. Who? I'm not going to name names. They, they, anyone who I hate probably knows I hate. But we'll get over it and continue moving. Yeah. Is what it is. Uh, do I not have a computer fucking here? <laughs> what? I have two computers. I have one here and one. This what? This is editing. Is this my? Is this a new computer? Is that my what? I'm very confused. When Dave comes back in the office, yesterday was, he was in good, he was coming off vacation, knew he was going back to vacation, so he didn't want to get himself too mad, which is why he only went C minus yelling at Dave. When he's back, and you fucked up, and something happened, it's D day for you, my G. No, this is not it. What the fuck? Oh, fuck, I need a big day on the stock market too. I've been getting fucking killed the last two days. All right, so we're good. That's just down, what is all this shit all over the place? That's pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of a cool, actually, face cover. <laughs> Wolverine helmet. So 
you're gonna go live and then you're gonna add D on it. So I'm talking to his guy. Is he aware? Yeah, they're ready to go. All right. How did that all come about? Uh, Dion. Dion? Yeah. Dion Sanders coming to Barstool. It's crazy. Wallo texts me. I'm out in Nantucket with Dave a couple weeks ago. He's like, I got some crazy news. I'm like, Dave, Wallo just texted me. got some crazy news. I want to do a call right now. I'm like, what do you think it is? We're like, we have no idea what those guys could be anything. Um, Wallo, Gilly jump on the phone. They're like, we got some announcements. They're all fired up. They're like, Dion wants to come to Barstool. We're like, oh shit. Like, what? Uh, so he's like, can I connect you guys? We're like, yeah, right, let's do it. So a minute later, he basically conferences in Dion and Erica. I got introduced to Dion, talked to Dion that afternoon, booked a flight to Texas the next day, got to Texas the next day, went to see, see Dion at his ranch, spent the next two weeks at the ranch or going to the ranch, meeting with Dion, trying to figure out what we could do together. He wanted a platform where he could be himself, he wanted to make content bigger than sound bites, everything you guys already heard. Um, and then we put it together. We got introduced to his team and they're awesome. They're part of a company called Smack. They're kick ass. So we're going to go after it, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a good get. It's a good get. He's, I mean, he's fucking prime time. Like I told Frankie when he was doing pizza reviews the other day, I'm like, uh, we signed Dion. He's like, what? <laughs> like, there's not many guys that you can just be like one name and everyone knows who it is right away. Like he's one of them. All credits of a million dollars for the game. Those guys coming in and uh, being friends with Dion and you know, it's kind of crazy. The coaching tree, Roan to a million dollars for the game to Dion Sanders. Uh, it's just, like I said, just another day at Barstool. That is a fit. It's a fucking fire fit. Going live, we got 6,000 people. Let's see how many we got. Let's see how many people we can get. A lot of people probably gonna be all hopped up on this outfit. This outfit is absolute fire all the way down. Just deal with it. Back in the office, back in New York, the hair, Corona hair spill. Eyes look a little red, whatever. Uh, big news today, obviously, is fucking Please take me to the Hamptons. I'm not in the Hamptons. It looked like I'm in the Hamptons in my fucking office in New York. Um, let's get to 20,000 people here. There we go. 20,000 people. Now, how do I get, what is this? This question thing that I pre. Nope, we don't want questions. Uh, what is that? Go live with you and just request. Yep, there we go. See what we got. Special guest here. There he is. There he is. There he is, the newest Barcelona guy, Primetime. What's up? I am happy and elated to be a part of the team, my man. I can't wait. The announcement's awesome. The office is buzzing. What are you coaching? I see, football? I see, yeah, I'm at football practice, man. You know how it works. All right. I love the shirt. Love well, what about the total fit? Oh, you got the whole outfit. I got the whole I got the whole. Hey, I know I'm in the right place. Yeah, I, got... I know I'm in the right place, man. I just want to introduce you to the world. We're fucking psyched. We're going to have a doing a ton of stuff. Get back to fucking practice. Primetime Barstool is perfect. Hey, I'm loving you. We got to talk at least once a week, man. Oh, we for sure. Chop it up. Done deal. Done deal. All right. Deal. Talk Keep to you. Keep your fucky outfit. Keep your fucky outfit. Right? <laughs> I don't even want it anyway. Yeah, you do. You're, you're gonna. The first thing you're gonna do off this call is call your tail. Be like, get this fucking fit. I got a goldfish necklace for you too, if you're lucky. I don't want that goldfish. Yeah, bullshit. I'm a bass man. Bullshit. I'm a bass man. Bullshit. Bullshit. Grown man with a goldfish. All right. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. <laughs> he wants the fit. So let me go ahead and read you the title: Hatred, Lies, <laughs> Federal Crimes, Moral Locks. The story of Barstool's seven-year-long gambling war. This inside Barstool story came out about an hour ago. It was written by Tommy Smokes. Tommy Smokes has joined us on the program to talk about his process, things he found during the writing of this uh, this tell-all, I guess. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It was an eye-opening experience, really. Uh, yesterday, I conducted 10 different phone interviews, hours on the phone. Um, it was really, you know, it's a lot of stuff I had known before, some stuff I didn't know, such as mail fraud. I thought he did a good job encapsulating it. Um, but you have to remember, Tommy's biased because Tommy has slandered me on the Viva La Stool account <laughs> with his cronies. So he did put some of that aside 
and it, he gave a, a fair account. I thought it was good. You I don't it. feel slandered today? No, I thought it was a fair account. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I, yeah, I'm a little nuts, but uh, I'm entertaining, which is what a lot of people gravitate to. And he lost 50 burgers and disappeared. No. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. The gambling war at Barstool is beautiful. I love every second of it. I, I want this. Uh, this is exactly what I imagined when I knew we were gonna get more into gambling. I love, obviously, I love gambling. I love sports gambling. I get a kick out of sports gamblers. I think they're the funniest, most entertaining slash biggest bitches on the internet. So we're seeing that now. Like everyone is simultaneously wrong and right. They, they want to think they're joking, but they're all dead serious. And that's exactly what I want. I think it's so, so funny. A lot of people like it. I think that there was something that needed to be done. It's probably one of the bigger stories in America. And uh, the fact that we find out everybody get everything in one place was really necessary. Were Woodward and Bernstein brought into Watergate? They won't show it. They might have been. So. Were they? I don't I, know. I, I'm not sure. I, I was phrasing that as if, no. I mean, they didn't get. Maybe cut that, but no, <laughs> I don't think I'll get brought in. I think I was just a reporter, uh, you know, do, reporting the objective facts. Is Rico pissed? Uh, no, uh, I think he just, him and Pitcat are having discrepancies over his 2017 showings on Pickham. This is 2017. You're right, five. you're right, you're right. But okay. I want to find the, the blog talk radio. Hang on one second. I also know that there was a ton of times but he didn't like Rico. Week six, it's you all the say, same feed. It's on. What are you talking about? Well, there's burner episodes hitting. <laughs> Possibly. Listen, I'm not even mad at you. It is what it is. You had oblos. No, nah, I had shit. to do the show. Rico, it's okay. Not all. Just because yeah, I consider you a close friend, I know my friend's weaknesses. When the when when shit gets tough, you disappear. That's what just did you say? Disappear. Three. What did Tommy say? Three years ago, Tommy. 2017. 2017. Are you questioning his his ability no, to journalism? No, I'm just looking for clarification. Because I'm on week seven here. Whatever. There should be more respect on my name because I define bought you again. What did I say? Bill Walton, Bonzi Wells, Avita Sabonis, Dan Katz, Rico Bosco. You don't just come off the street and then get to be in the big. Don't league. get upset. Wait, don't get in. Well, you were doing don't things. Don't get in no, your feelings. I'm giving you respect. Don't get in your feelings. Relax. Well, Bonzi Wells, what, what Bonzi Wells and Bill Walton are oh, I love Bonzi Wells. Headband, big headband guy. What? What's he have to do with like the Trailblazers? Trailblazers. Ray, Rico, relax. Okay. Don't get in your feelings. Oh, you you. Trailblazers. Fine. Just let him do his sayings. He does his <laughs> fucking. Mo He's been doing these sayings since Moses wore short pants. Yeah. Damn. No. And this is exactly what Barstool is. We're not going to be. Uh, straight gambling talk. We're not going to be analytics. We're not going to do gambling like the big networks. We're going to do it like this, where Blackjack and Rico and Paul LaDuca going to HR. No, sorry. Paul LaDuca didn't go to HR. Paul LaDuca said, if there were to be an HR-worthy tweet, that would be one of them. Okay, so here's the deal. Paul LaDuca, who I've been told has played Major League Baseball. Now, I assume in that time he got into several fracases or melees or fights, or scrapes, or dust-ups, yet he seems totally unprepared to get in those here, at least the verbal kind. He seems to think that he is, what's the word? Unapproachable, irrepressible, irre Superior. unassailable. He is unassailable, nobody can go at it. You know, he's a gambler. He's just anybody else here. He's Brandon Walker, he's Marty Mush. And I, for one, when I heard that Paul LaDuca went to management. I mean, come on, how big of a pussy do you have to be to go to management over a concern? Be a man. Be a man and go to him, man on man, one on one, say, hey, I got a problem. Don't go to management like a little pussy boy. Oh. Gambling is what is going to take Barstool to the moon, whatever the fuck it is we say, but it's what's going to take us down too. Because yeah. everyone's a fucking pussy. Yeah. Everyone, everyone in Barstool Bets is a pussy, Josh except Marty. Josh came to me, and he and said, Dan. he and said you were- And Dan, well, fuck off, whatever. You don't, don't try, man. He said, <laughs> Dan's fine. He said you want to give me a take on all this uh, HR talk, and I was like, I'm not getting involved now, I'm staying clear of that. And then you took it, which was even, I was like, fights is fired up. Yo, <laughs> if, do you know how much it fucking this? takes to get me involved yeah, in something? I mean, like it are. takes a lot yeah. to get me fucking 
concerned, caring about anything in the whole world. I've said my girlfriend can kiss other people, and I don't fucking care. And I fucking care about this. This is bullshit. You were sitting at the table when I said it. But this is bullshit. <laughs> fucking HR whining about fucking pics. You're all pussies. Fuck all of you. I'm gonna get into gambling. I'm gonna get, they're filming me. I'm gonna get into gambling just to fucking show that you don't have to be a fucking pussy to gamble. It's downright insanity. I can't believe, I can't believe, like I'm still scared of wasting Dave's time. I'm still scared of wasting Erica's time to go to them with like, hey, people are being mean on the internet. It's like, oh, hey, hey guys, just so you know, the fucking sky's blue today. It's insanity. It's, I mean, Ladilka in particular, threatening going to HR. I found out this very morning, that's just a true fact. I found out this morning that we even had an HR. Didn't even know we had an HR because the thought of going to it, it never crossed my mind. But now we're doing it over fucking betting, over just true facts, by the way. It's not a made-up thing. It's you lost some bets, Paul. You lost bets. That's okay. People lose bets almost all the time, almost exclusively. But go to HR for it. Whew. I'll tell you, this company's gone in a different direction. Jersey City. Personally, like my shoes. I do. The Big Cat shoes. <laughs> I think Big Cat's my dad now. <laughs> he just gives me everything. He gives me all his furniture, his <laughs> shoes. But we're going to Philly. Brand new sucker, first ones in Philly. My new home for fucking could be an a, could be eight months. Could be anything. The the shower curtains. It, I don't know. It's black and it. I don't know. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel it. You need two pieces for a shower curtain. Get the frig out of here. You only need one. So I gotta buy a plastic dog. Where do you buy that? Being an adult is trash. You buy, you buy six things for $300 and it's just so you could get it wet. It's horrible. I should have stayed in Ronkonkoma. Let me, uh, I gotta look at the GPS. Isn't that crazy? There's just jails on like the side of the road. Where do you want them to be? I feel like jail should be in the middle of nowhere, no? I think preferably, yeah. I feel this has gotta be like this has got to be like the uh, like Club Fed or something. Like Club Fed was that? I think you're meant to say Federal. Club Dread. No, it's Club Fed. Morons. <laughs> you guys never heard of Club Fed? No. Like Federal Jail is awesome. You play ping pong. You like have a phone. Do you really need two pieces for a shower curtain? Yeah. You do, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could get away with one. Yeah, you can. I took a shower this morning. It was beautiful. So you need one on the outside, one on the inside. I sp I spent three hundred dollars on a yeah. bath mat. Um, I also lost eight hundred dollars in gambling last night, so it didn't match up. But I I bought a bath mat, a fucking uh, pillow, shampoo, and a garbage. No sheets. No, no. My sheets are coming in tomorrow. Why would I buy two pairs of sheets for a hundred? Sheets are a hundred dollars and they're like cloth. I never had to buy sheets before. You use them every day, though. You use them every day? Yeah. It doesn't matter. I use my fucking dick every day. It wasn't a hundred dollars. <laughs> use your dick every day. You don't pee every day? Yeah, <laughs> guess you're right. What do we got here? Uh, dead end? Dude, there's another Roan sign. Why is Roan just tagging up the place, dude? I could see him doing that. He's a sick bastard. Is this the, is this the house? On the left. Smith Smythe's oh, corner? Dude. Which one is it? Hello! My name is Martin Johnson Archibald Adirondacks Mush. Welcome to my crib. You bastard. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fucking stabbing dog. Right when you come in, boom. Bar stool gambling. Come on, watch your step. Positive vibes only. Life's too short to bet the gunner. It's only money. Positive vibes only. This place, beautiful. It just makes you come in. Winners everywhere. I Like I said, right here, the, lock, 
The La Clachere is the clock that doesn't work. That's just a uh, very fancy thing for no reason. When a clock doesn't work, you're fancy. Fact. Painting, splash, splash. What's his name? Jahanda. Uh, wax dog. Jabuli. Jabuli, right there as well. We got, uh, we got Buddha here, just in case. Need a little down your luck. Smack his little belly. Someone was figuring an asshole got caught up in a little poopa stupa. And let's go upstairs. All right, here's a balcony where you look at a wall. <laughs> nice. Very nice view. Seven feet of wall. Okay. <laughs> this is our, where the gambling will be happening. Hopefully, oh, is that the quality? All right. We're gonna have TVs, Pete. It's gonna have like 7,000 TVs. All technical shit, all right. Room number one. This will be Dave's right-hand man, Kevin's room. Ooh, nice little, nice little dog in me, all right, huh? <laughs> this is probably where some podcasting and some radio will be happening for the gambling boys. This is actually a nice little setup. This is like my own little pad, I feel like. I never understood, like, who saw that? Like, yep, that's the one. Put it on that wall. <laughs> this is probably be producer Jack's. Jack's rich, so he probably will be pissed with this room. Now this is my master bedroom. This is pretty. This is pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's comfortable as shit. Oh man, I'm be sick, sick like a dog here. All right, it's a nice bed. Nobody can have this many clothes. <laughs> this is like an apartment in, in New York City. This is fantastic. Good wood. I respect wood. I like oak or a little bit of a red tree, but I respect wood. Now this is banana land bathroom. Shitter, very, no one cared about the shitter in this bathroom. It's just very by itself. Oh, someone was having a beer while they were shitting. Oh. Can I show you something? Yeah. I have so much hair on the left side of my head, but nothing on the right. It looks like I'm losing my hair to the right, but the left is growing like a bastard. I don't understand what's going on with this. You gotta, all right, that's besides the point. <laughs> this thing fucking relapse in this sucker. But uh, shower view coming soon, way too many buttons. I don't know how, where is it? Is it just from there? I don't know. I'm not sure what, you, what else you do. Highway of Philadelphia, not bad. Pretty sure a satellite's gonna go up here. A little beach getaway, little splinters in the ass, too. Not bad. All right, five more flights down. Come on, <laughs> no wine, but a nice little cell bay. This scares me. I feel like someone was someone was having a little suave here. It's kind of creepy down here, no? Yeah, it's like come see the Pinot Noir. Bang. I feel like we could have a little open mic stand up here. <laughs> it's like half a couple of people here. Oh, how's your fucking assholes, everybody? Martin Mush here. My, my grandmother one time, she sat, she, uh, I was bribing the Burger King, she gets mayonnaise on her eyebrows, and she fucking, this is what she does. I put the heated seats on, she starts looking at me like this, she thought she pissed herself because of the fucking heated seats. <laughs> That's what stand up is, all right. <laughs> the New York City Marathon on this shit. But that's my gambling house. I'm gonna win some coin and I'll get the fuck out. Hold off without him figuring it out. We're gonna have Dave read an ad. Yeah. Then Big Head read an ad. And then Stu read an ad. And then he, that's how he realized it. I wrote a fake ad that he's gonna read on the teleprompter. So he's gonna read it and not realize it. I think his heart's gonna explode. I actually put it at the end of the ad. It was like, Stu, please try not to, do not kiss everyone. So it's legit? 
I guess, yeah. I thought when Vic had first told me, I was like, oh, this is, that's like you're just fucking with him? He's like, no, like, actually. Stewart! It's Kelly. Sorry, Kelly. Has family. Kelly. Great. I'll show you some pictures after. Okay, good. Hey, we match! <laughs> First of all, it's the first time that I've been back in Manhattan, and it was a little unnerving seeing like these major hotels, you know, major restaurants, you know, all wooded up. I mean, all boarded up. That's very scary. It's, you know, it's unnerving, but you get into the building, you get into Barstool, you feel the energy, and we're ready to roll. <laughs> Give you a hug, big hug. No hugs? Come on, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Uh, listen, thank God I didn't bring three eight balls into the pound of pot. It would have been the wrong day to fucking do that. I was shaking in that meeting. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> How's it, how's it feel to be back, Stu? Oh, it feels amazing. Feel ready to roll. Right Sore everybody. Right feel excited, pumped up, juiced up. Big year. Big fucking year. We might have to, like, just bleep out half the show, but... <laughs> I said! <laughs> well, we, we, we don't have the app yet, so we're not launching the app as of right this second, right? You talk, are we going to talk about the app on... Uh, uh not this week. What? Not this week. Okay. Because I just saw all the things we can't do. Yeah, I'll take this in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But that's specific for the app. I feel like your stuff is just... There's one that's going to be tough that's to okay, navigate. Right? Okay. But bet everything you own. No, I, don't, I, I don't think it's no good. Oh. Oh, even on the first show. I think so. Okay, fair enough. So Stu's world upside down. <laughs> we just took away like 75% of his vocabulary. What other words? Uh, degenerate. Eating ass, licking clit, fucking. That's fine. Multiple orgasms. That's all good. G-spot. You're good. On those. Fist fucking, still cool? Yep. Okay, gotta ask the one first, but normally it's cool. Is Responsibly take money yeah. from your local casino. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could say like, yeah. Take what is money his, from... What is his name? Michael. Michael's the compliance, right? Yeah. yeah. I thought about having him stand in here, but then I was like, no. oh, that's a bad idea. No, we need quaaludes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's so nice to see Good you. Good to see you. You look great. Thank you. How's it feel to be back for the first episode of Advisors? Feels great. Honestly, it kind of feels like we never left. I feel like we've probably only had like three full months in the office since it's been Advisors. Um, True. Um, nothing crazy today. Might be helping Big Cat with his mortal lock, it seems like. Um, just try to provide the people with stats and, uh, and hopefully get them some winners. Responsibly. Responsibly. That way you're comfortable with. 1 800 Gambler if you have a problem. What's up? What are you doing? Great. It's still very similar stuff. We're ready! We look. Listen, great minds travel similar paths. That's it. I'm not, I'm not sending you what I'm wearing anymore the day before. I'm just not going to do it! Come on. They want you to mic yourself up. Oh, because you can't touch people? Is that, the, is that what it is? How much weight are you down? Uh, Put that in your pocket. And then I'll you down. I just gained back 10 pounds in the last two weeks. Oh, I'm good. So, so, so chicken good. parm? Um, no. Sausage and pasta. Heavy sausage and pasta. Do That'll do it. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Did you already do the sleep? Okay. Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. Oh my God. How about this? Three best bets, 69 bucks. Three best bets, $69. Favorite position, mm -hmm. favorite number, Gronk's mm -hmm. favorite number, mm -hmm. and it's for you. Three best bets. What is One of these mean? games, what, what? what is 69? My favorite position, Kids really, show. really. What do you mean? Um, I like when she sits on my face. Jesus oh. Christ. You know, I love it. That's yeah. really, really good. Don't, Dan. You, 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 you have what? both you of walked them. into it. Dan, what do you want to do? Dan, you don't want a Jesus cheeseburger, Christ, Stu? Man. Yes! You want pizza? Yes! Okay, Stu, you want both. a Diet Coke? Yes! Stu. What do you want from me? What, what, what do you want? Daniel. Both of you want me to be something I'm not? Both of your sons are right here. <laughs> And their mother sat on my face! <laughs> oh, what? This is so much. This is so What do we got to say? So again, stay focused here. The $25,000 jackpot is up for grabs each and every week, but it won't be easy. Which one am I reading? Uh, Second half. Yeah. 
Can I see it first or I'll just wing it and you we'll just, figure it out? You just wing it. It's quick. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. You got this. Okay. Uh, wait, stop. Wait, stop. Three, two, one. Barstool Sports Advice is brought to you by the Barstool Sports app. The greatest store in the world. Hats, shirts, sweatshirts, cozies, and more. Use code ADVISORS for 20% off now. We have new products every single week. Zillion Beals merch. Call her daddy. DDTG. I love Dave to death. I love Dan to death. It's arguably the greatest thing I do during my entire life is come here and film the show. The best day of my life! What the fuck? Can't get any better. I'm ready to roll. Everybody seems amped up. You know, even when you're walking into the house, people kind of know what's going on. It's a, it's a lot of buzz around that. Well, it's like we're in this gambling house and all we need is to be able to get the sports and we can't. It's the same story everywhere we go. It was a great setup to, to launch it within that state. It's been a great uh, reception um, and, and the app's been fantastic. Number one in the app store for sports, uh, which is beautiful. Stoolies stepped up like they did. Uh, I'm up 40 grand. I'm seeing the board. It couldn't have gone better. It honestly, it just can't go better than what it is right now. And hopefully, you know, Saturday, huge day. Tomorrow, huge day. We just keep going and chomp, chomp, chomp at that moon. I thought uh, people seemed like they loved it. I uh, was proud of it. That was the big thing. Was I going to be proud of, you know, putting our name on it? Dave and I were in a bunch of meetings the last six months talking about it. Like, when we put that out there, people are going to say to us, not to like tech support, like you screwed it up, but I thought it was awesome. The gambling juju and the, and the vibe is very important. Rico and uh, Brandon, we'll see if they can keep things going well. And if they don't, we're gonna blame them. What's up? It's a plan? Brandon, how you feeling? <laughs> You're telling me? And, uh, Turn around. Turn around. What time's Marshall? No. 3.30. I'm done with you. Why? I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> Why are you done with me? I, I protected your ass from him, from your little hair, yeah. for a fucking week. And I text you, and 10 minutes later, he's tweeting it out? We were sitting here, and he saw it. <laughs> I protected no, you. No, I protected no, your no. precious little hair. You should be bald right now, but I took care of you. What, wasn't it a three? Yeah, a three. No, he negotiated that later. It was a one. No, it's a three on the three. original bet. It was not. So oh, you, was. The, you, you can, can watch the clip. You can watch it. You can watch it. It was one. Why you got that tone with me? It was one. First of all, Pull the original clip. I guarantee you it was a three. It was way too many. Did I not say negative. three in the original clip? No matter what, this hair is. We haven't even gotten This hair is staying. It was a one? I thought it's I said old three. Old. No, I watched it. But we it was negotiated a one. three. I took care of him. You got bad vibes. No, I don't. There's too you much negative. I just got it with him. Okay. Not with anybody else. No, you, you were short with me just there. Why are you treating me like I was your producer? My mistake. This is, we're not off the positive vibes. No, yeah, that's just bad vibes. Things have turned ugly since you've shown up. Bad vibes. Come out! Come out! Come out! All right, Sunday, Philly special. We got two teams, right? Eagles, Steelers. Go to the Barstool exclusive section of the Barstool Sportsbook. Double juice odds, plus 200, both games, 500 max because we can't go broke. I did this for you. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania special, Barstool exclusive. Do it, get rich, do it. How's the dome? It's uh, it's not good. <laughs> but I'm winning. I went 4-0 last night. I got money. I got juice in the account today. Number one on Pick Central. Ain't bad. You going chicken tenders for breakfast? Yeah. yeah I'm right sick back. of breakfast. I don't like right. breakfast. You guys started a blame board? For those of you who don't know, 
the blame board Dave kind of created uh, based off opinions. And when it wasn't going well, he created the blame board. He said, all right, put this up. And Big Ev was on for one and I was on for another. Where basically like, you you know, you owe me one. I'm glad to see you're not on there yet. I never told him that. I was very good yesterday. When you have Rico and other people, they'll fuck it up before you. You don't have to say anything. Bro, you were squirrely in the fuck up zone two days ago. Yeah, no more. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm winning. That's what There's probably one going. more left on the other side. I'm telling you, I'm not the dumbest person here. No. It was, it's just, it was, it's just, it was, Dana usually is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna win today. I really do. You wanna explain the Hanson real quick? It's every point, so it's the grit. For gamblers that know, it's the Grand Salami in hockey, but I've never seen it in football. So it's every point that's scored on Sunday combined. You have to get over 642 and a half. So you just, every touchdown matters. Garbage time touchdowns matter. Field goals matter. Safeties matter. Everything matters. I have no words left in my brain. It's day three of the Barstool Sportsbook app. We launched on Friday. We've been sitting on this couch for three straight days. We're back for a full NFL Sunday slate. We have reinforcements here. Smitty's here. Jeff the Dew's here. PFT's coming. Hank's coming. Wallow and Gilly are going to be here. Dave, Marty, myself, all day. Action, wall to wall, and bet the Hanson. Bet the Hanson. 642 points. Let's go. All right. Come on, man. Good day, boys. It's NFL Have a good Sunday day. time, boys. Have a good day. Boys. I'm feeling great. I actually really am feeling good about my bets. Me too. So back to me and you, Smitty. You win the Super Bowl, greatest Super Bowl game ever by a quarterback, great playoff run. You admit that. And you admit that. Yeah. And then you jettisoned it. No, we didn't jettison it. And he played the next year. And then he, played he played the next year. A bum. Yeah, and a then he's not a bum. He's not a bum. He's a he, this is what as a starter who starts the season, he is historically a bum. Worst quarterback ever. He's a fucking bum. Worst quarterback ever for the Jets. He will come and probably lead the Bears to the playoffs. Yes, bum. he is the greatest backup quarterback this of all time. This is exactly what I'm talking he's about. He's the greatest no, backup he's quarterback not. of all time. He had a four-game run. <laughs> Nick Foles, and you're taking Nick Foles over Doug Flutie. I think he's so, Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie's a great starter. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Foles is a great I'm taking, Doug, I'm taking Nick Foles over Frank Wright. Wait, I'm Flutie taking him. You no, you're not Frank Frank taking Nick Foles over Frank Wright. He's a great from quarterback Buffalo? for the Eagles. Yeah, from you're Buffalo. Buffalo. Frank Wright won one game. Nick Foles won the Super Bowl. He's the greatest backup quarterback of all time, but he's not a starter. That's clear. Get off. What, what team does Nick Foles play for right now? He plays for the Bears. He's backing up a bum! No! Not what? Now, now you brought me into this. He's not so, there. Now you brought me into Wait, this. Wait, the quarterback is the number two pick in the draft. Oh, fuck but he's the late bloomer. So was Ryan Lee. I think we got. I can tell you a bunch of number two picks in the draft that were fucking bums. McNabb? 30 by hat. A Hall of Fame? Carson the Messiah. That's what they call him. Yep. I can't get my hand Look at this kid. Yes! Touchdown! 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 Yesterday, Dave says to me, hey, Spider, I need a pick for this NFL slate. 4 p.m. games are coming up. What do you think? I want to make a bet. So I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch nearly as much football as he does. Why is he asking me? So I go with the under 42 and a half Bucks Broncos game, and he says, Spider, this is your bet. I'm going to put 10 grand on it, and if it hits, the money's yours. If it doesn't hit, Nothing happens. Risk-free 10K bet. So for those, I asked Fire, give me your best pick. And he gave me, there's a 425 game. He did the, the fake slip here. Bucks at Broncos under 42 and a half. 
And I'll put ten grand on this for you. This is your pick. I put five. Oh, no, I'm giving you ten. Oh, it's your shit. it's yours. Let's oh, go, oh, Spider! Oh, Let's on, fucking right, go, right. Spider! So that, on, this is your pick. It's going in. I'm gonna put it, I'll give you ten grand cash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet it for me on my thing. If I win, I'm gonna give you the money. If I lose, nothing. Let's go, Spider. I'm hyperventilating, shaking right now. Let's fucking ride. Tom Brady. He's getting over the hill, no offense, Kev. Uh, he, it's, he's at Mile High Stadium, it's gonna be tough. You know, the air, all that shit, no points. So here I am watching the under 42 and a half Broncos Bucks game. First half looks like shit. It looks like it's going over, over, over. Where are we at? Not a great first half, a lot of points. Um, fucking Mike Evans, two touchdowns, I think. Late Broncos touchdown. I was hoping for a one-sided uh, um, Bucks lead. Hopefully they would stop throwing the ball to Gronk and maybe just run the run it. It's not looking good. We're gonna need a miracle here, I think. What do you know? Defense shows up on both sides for the second half. Let's get some defensive stops here, King. Let's go. Do you mind if I sit this close to you on this big of a couch? No, absolutely not. <laughs> right, I, wel I welcome the proximity. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, folks at home, clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up at home. Come on. Let's go. Just keep running the fucking clock. Folks at home, clap it up. Let's go. Tick, 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 tick. Defense. 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 Cut. Let's go. No more fucking points. Enough with the points. Clap it up. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Come on. Clap it up! Clap it up! Clap it up! Clap it up! Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. No scoring. No scoring. Under 42 and a half. 10K back courtesy of Dave Portnoy on the Barstool Sportsbook. Come on! Clap it up! Clap it up! Clap it up! Too many warnings! They said we wouldn't be here! They said we were done! Let's fucking go! Voice crack, we're still fucking here. There's one fucking collective goal right now. Clap it up, clap it up, let's go! Yeah, I feel good right now. Yeah. That two minute warning was second and eight. We need one or two more touchdowns and home free. What? I mean, first downs. What the fuck? First oh, downs. What the fuck? First downs, not touchdowns, first Did downs. Did you get that? That's gotta be it, right? We get the win, we get the 10K. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. And then my phone rings, it's from Dave. What's going on? It's Dave. Congratulations, Spider. That's a great win. Thank you so much. What a fucking ride. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm <laughs> blessed to have a boss that would put me in this position. Even though that was an absolutely asinine pick, it somehow <laughs> hits. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. This is fucking unbelievable. Well, yeah, you, and you know I'm a push to luck guy, so that 10 grand's in your pocket. And we're playing like spend the bucks. You gotta, you gotta sell this game, and you got money football. So I'm gonna do this offer for you: two thousand guaranteed, no matter. You have ten. Yep. If you want to go double or nothing, it would be actually double or two. So you get two no matter what. If you win the next, you get twenty. Uh yeah, we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have a pick. I wanted to take it. 20 grand sounds great, but you know what's even better? 10 grand in the hand. So I walked out with 10K. I said, Dave, after thinking about it, I think I, I had a change of heart. I'm going to take the 10K and walk. And now I'm leaving the Barstool Sportsbook Gambling House here in Philadelphia a winning man. 10 grand richer, courtesy of Dave Portnoy, Penn National, Barstool Sportsbook. Download the app. Let's fucking go. Cha ching! Dude, my fucking girlfriend almost cried because she was so happy for Spider. Yeah, it was incredible. There was, we left dinner and we were like, we gotta go home and like follow along with this. He's clap it up. Everyone clap it up. <laughs> hey. Clap it up. Clap it up. Let's go. Oh, man, right? How are we doing? So excited. So fired it's up. So fired <laughs> up. I'm just so happy for you. Thank you. I couldn't. Have, I couldn't be happier. What are you gonna do with the money? I don't know. Probably. Thank you, pen shares. Yeah. What are you talking about? That or we'll uh, gamble <laughs> some away on the Barstool Sportsbook. Okay, or like pay off some debt. Yeah, th that Save too. Some. Save some. Save some. Maybe, maybe a little strip bit. Club. Nah. I'm supportive of that. Okay. Everyone, you should like proportion it. Yeah. Like a little strip club, a little gambling, a little saving. Yeah. <laughs>
thousand dollars to ten things. Yeah. There you go. Is this your money that you won? Uh, there it is. <laughs> what a what a way to win. I mean, it's all hundreds too. This is like. <laughs> but I don't mean that. I mean the fact that it looked like it was a dead dog oh, move. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta hold on to hope. You know. Well, oh, it was a little bit of a pussy move not to double it down. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? This is like. You could have doubled though. I would have had 2K. You know how thin this envelope would have been? We're breaking bulls. Josh. What's wrong? Nothing. What were you talking about? I'm not telling shit. I'm what, going. What was, what was Jake? What was it? <laughs> Alright, I can't lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did, um, Rico and Marty and myself like to do a college basketball podcast. Correct. Your vision, best for business, Rico and Jeff Nadu. Men of honor. Dan made the logo. Okay. And Marty, Marty and I said, like, whatever is best for business, whatever you think is best, like, we won't take it hard if he does it with Jeff. I also said I would like, oh, so they're willing to let you do it with Jeff. <laughs> I even said I'll mediate it yeah. for him so he has an ally. Well, yeah, we, so we could be in the middle. So is this potentially something we're doing? No. He won't. <laughs> he just said. What are you looking at me for? I didn't I bring it up. I would, I didn't he has an ally on it. I could at least. But I, I, I'm a rider, so I'll do whatever you want. But well, I'm a rider. I'm a rider. You guys are. Not. I am. We're riders. I am. I am. The dude who bar, bar none knows most about college basketball in this office. So I think it's a shame. I'll take Jake over and just do to do. Maybe about uh, gambling. more betting wise. Two different animals. Yeah. Two different shots. I just think Two it's a waste shows. of a, a skill set not to have him on the show. Let him be like the stats guy. What if we what if we put him in the corner and there's a uh, it's you guys, he's in the corner like you can't even see him. No. I mean you make the decision, it's your call. Whatever. I ultimately answer to you. But oh. you knew part of my deal was that I would never do that with him. So what we just you can't see him. Doesn't matter. Change his voice feel. like it's a uh, you could feel like it. an interrogation you could and feel a witness. It. It's all right, whatever. We already did the test, we have guests lined up, whatever you want to do. It's ultimately your call. I'm not I don't have a horse in the race one way or the other. So what happens if we do it? With who? With us three? And in the corner, the stack guy. You, I'm you can do the three of them. I'm out. And you knew this going in. Listen, I love the whole common denominator that I need him to provide content. The only reason this is even being talked about is because he doesn't want me involved. Dog, you could fucking retire if you and I did a show together. That's how fucking dumb you are though. You don't see past the nonsense. You let little bickering bullshit hide you, uh, you know, keep you from that. Dog, I don't need you. I don't. I'm a 10 time better gambler than you are. I make your show look good. Notice the real people in the office that make decisions want me. And you're the one cock blocking. You're like the ugly girl with the hot girl at the fucking bar that I'm trying to get with. Get out of the fucking way. It's pretty simple. And look, at the end of the day, you know what? It ain't going to matter what you involve. Because regardless of whether you let me do shows with Marty and Jake, at the end of the day, your nonsense will shine through and I'll look better for it. You think I'm worried about you? Give me a fucking break, you don't need me. Everything you bicker and whine about. Notice when you're just on shows, it's not that funny. You're only funny when you're a fucking clown balloon boy and everybody can laugh at you. I'm a respected gambler and know what I'm doing. It's just that simple. But you want to pee. We've been what saying it forever. Like, this whole thing, right? But you, so you don't talk about it. I don't talk about what it. What do you want? It's a, you got all the... Where's your other boy? Beef. No. Right in your face, right? Right in your fucking face. I know it all. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, though. I try to stay calm. This is not what I want. So can they do something with him? Totally different feed, different name on Thursdays? Yeah, I told him there's no hard feelings. You guys do your own show on Tuesdays. Bench Mob will come up with a different name. It's Marty, Jake, and Nadu to do on Thursdays. The Blob Squad. <laughs> that has nothing to Hell do yeah. with you, right? Right. So what's wrong with that? I guess nothing. <laughs> I think we got something. There that's, you how go. you, that's how you turn zero shows and turn them into two. Two. Okay. But now all the chemistry that we just did, all the guests we have lined up, you just took two thirds of our guys 
and gave it to him for free. No, Where's the legwork? I, I'll do anything to get involved, right? <laughs> what is he doing? You want to see my email? I got nine guys already lined up. You still have all that stuff. Fine. It's what it's just. I, I like you. You help, you. you help me eat. There's a lot of money around, right? I like coming well, here. You, you few laughs, all, but I've said this though. I haven't put his past you. You're just dangling. Like it's you a big. All your stuff. He's not getting any of your stuff. It's a big squeeze out. If I'm lucky, I'll be writing for the advance in like three weeks. It's. I'm really. <laughs> it's a shame. Because I like you, I really do. It's a shame. But this is how I leave every time. And then I go get my car and then fucking I want to bang my head against the wall. It's a shame. It is a shame. It is a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. But you love it though, right? Yeah. I don't love it. You love it. Love SNL. It. Let's get them all in here, right? <laughs> yeah. it fucking it's Halloween. Keep turning the pot. I wish it's what it is. I wish it didn't end like this. Struggling. Today. Struggling. You see this? I'm struggling. Alright. I'm trying to make it work. We got a college basketball expert. We got a balloon guy. And I need them both to work. All right, all right. I like you too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get out. No. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. 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 I'll get out. Yeah. I'll get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the whole situation is insane that <laughs> we can't put each other together on a podcast. But I guess we'll see. There's your, there's oh, your good Tom's Town ball today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's right here. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, 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 Tom's Town! Tom's Town! Tom's Town! Tom's Town! Tom's Town! Tom's Town! Did he name you? Uh, well, no, he's from he's from Youngstown. Who's this? Youngstown ain't got nothing to do with Tom's Town. Well, he's a lot Yeah, but who named you? I think it was you, Jay. Well, yeah, it came out that he ate a tongue pussy. Yeah, so you just, just said Tongstown. Yeah, I'm on the map. Tongstown. Oh, there was another one too. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, there were a bunch of Something with a box. Bobby Box. Bobby Box. It's also Bobby Box. Bobby Box. Munchtown Bob. Munchtown Bob. Yeah, Munchtown Bob. Yeah. What is this? I'm sure your mom doesn't enjoy being called Munchtown. She doesn't know. I think you could be known for worse things. Tongstown. That was a great reaction you had to have. That was because it's real. Well, yeah. Because he eats a ton of pussy. Can't be more real than that. Wasn't it like that's like what you do on the first date or something like that? Yeah. Isn't that how this and the happen? second, and the third, yeah. and the fourth. He's like LeBron and uh, Dwayne Wade when they did the press covers. Like, not, I'm not going to eat one. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Your reaction to that was because sad. it was real. I've been thinking about him the all week, man. I told everybody. I told my guys that. Flew with me. <laughs> my God, that's the first time I've ever seen that picture right. of it. Of oh, Dan, big big head. I'd never. This one, yeah, that was bad. bad. That's the first time I've seen it. That was bad. That was outside of the, uh, Detroit. You look like you couldn't breathe right now. <laughs> yeah, no, that was um, <laughs> that was pretty heavy. Yeah, that was pretty heavy. I, mean, I still am, but yeah. How did you? Do? You're not heavy. You look good right now. How, you didn't look good right there. How did you do it though? How did you get from there? I actually, that's that was taken at the end of football season. That was like December, so I could be back there in December. Uh, so, oh, oh, okay. Winners. Scratch ticket. I think these are winners. Actually. I've never scratched off in my life. Okay. Um, you never did a scratch off. Of never. never. Oh, it's a good rush. It's a good rush. It's a good rush. It's a good rush. <laughs> what else? Beef jerky. You want some beef jerky? No, I don't do anything that says jerk in it. Okay. <laughs> Some gold. I used to have 24K. that. 24K. Used to have a lot of that. 24K. Back in the day. I don't even know what happened to my old chains. Northern Illinois. See, no, oh. Oh. Oh, if you want this, this is actually. No, wait, this isn't anything. Okay, never mind. No. Who cares? Yes. Oh, yeah. And you're part of it. You know, it looks like Every it's my size. Yeah. I'm taking that. Podcast for football guys and, and gals everywhere. I take that. It's every Thank Sunday you, night. Every Sunday night. You really put a lot into there it. There we go. You really oh, put a lot God into it. God damn it. You, got, you ruined my whole pile. This thing was organized. You put a lot into this. You got a letterman jacket. Who is this from? Oh, Wisconsin, yeah. Wisconsin? They recruited you. They did. Obi Toppin. Oh, man. All right, you made me go through all this stuff. I don't Let's see what this is. Mess. Oh, that's nice right there. And that's actually nice. Yeah. That is nice. You want it? No, I'm a, I'm a number guy. All right, but I appreciate it. Uh, wait, meet Stephen Shea. Dion, right there. He's the man. What's up? What's up? I, I love the number. Willie Cologne. I yeah. love that number on you. 
Oh, thank you. He's, uh, he's our, he does film breakdown. He's a super fan of the Bucks. He's um, a big time weirdo, but in a good way. I have a proposition. There you go. Oh, I told make, you he's a big time does weirdo. Does it make me money? It actually does. If it makes me money, I'm in. No, I trust him. That says a lot. I trust him. Okay. All right. He's a weirdo, but I trust him. Yeah, but he's a football weirdo, not like a yeah. Youngstown Bob weirdo. Like a... Youngstown is the yeah. man. He's like, you met I, I'll watch Watch football. your mouth when yeah. you say it. But <laughs> no, but he's, yeah. <laughs> and no pun intended when I said watch yes. your mouth. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Youngstown. Official proposition. Okay. So, let me show you what this is. This is a folder called Trick Plates. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you he's a weirdo. He's trying to help me with Jack's thing. Yes. yes. <laughs> I told you. So what is it? What do you want to see? Cut so through I, the chase. I, I got, Cut through the chase to get to the point. All right, I'll get, I'll get the first one. Two point conversion. So I watch a lot of tape. Oh, I like this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what? Yep. I don't want to use you. That's what I'm saying. I'm straight up. All right. I got the Jackson Tate colors and everything. Look, you want to see some nice stuff? No, I like that. For you. I, I, you know what? I, I promise you this. I promise you this. We're going to take this conversation. I'm going to use one of your plays next Friday night. Okay. And I'm going to score. Okay. And I'm going to send it back to you so we can blow it up. Steve okay. Okay. So you pick three of your best ones that you think. I got you. I need to know your personnel, though. What type of personnel are you doing? Do you I, can, I can do. We do everything. Okay. <laughs> but man, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Hey, I'm glad you, you like it. Down and those I'm glad you like it. You let the hair down. <laughs> oh, oh, Billy! 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 You're, I'm gonna show you where that that ball hit. Up there, I'm right here. Did you? Are you sure you play quarterback, Billy? No, I want to hit him. Almost got it. Billy missed the throw. Yeah. Billy, Billy threw the ball about six feet too high. Dude, you missed times your leap so bad. I'm not saying you had a better option, but I'm sitting right here. You sure? Real sure. bad. I, well, I'm not gonna. There's not gonna be a second time. I would go to cons. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. 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 yeah! Yeah! That's right. You broke it up. I got dunked on. Oh, you got lost! Oh! That was sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, heart's racing. That's the most. Push out and get him back. You alright? Yeah, you're That's deep my in guy, game. Spider. He's a man. Let's go. Yeah, you're deep in the game. That's IES. One of my favorite fighters in the whole circuit. What's his name? His name is IES, a <laughs> Providence legend. He joined us at Rough and Rowdy in Providence. He was the superstar that came out of that card. And now we get to see him fight again here tonight. You're going to Looking film forward him. to it. First fight, Skim Dog against Booty Draws. A policeman against a podcaster named Booty Draws who supports defunding the police. <laughs> That's how we fucking start off. Then we're going to see guys like Woodshed Wizard versus Timmy the Tooth. Mr. Sinister versus Mr. IHOP. The Instigator versus Space Monkey. Etc. 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 You're going to see Grumpy Knuckles against Jimmy Nascar. Fucking <laughs> the Ovarian Barbarian fucking country hoodlum it's just it goes on and on and on bobby lang versus wait uh woodruff nighty night is going to be an incredible fight wait what did you the... hear a girl's coming in on a horse what a girl's coming in on a horse and they have a contingency plan for if the horse gets crazy they're gonna kill it they have a three thousand pound tarp that they're gonna fucking put just over it and case. drag it out just in case no. yeah how do you think the mountain's gonna go with no fans I have no idea. I think it's going to be very strange. Very strange. Like Dan said, they're going to hear when we're like, oh, that guy's a fat pig. And he's going to be like, what would you say? Like, I had a guy who, um, all money forever. Like, he wanted to drop. Oh, yeah. Thanks for giving me that shout-out, bro. Yeah, for sure, nice, dude. Good luck tonight. Good luck. This camera could be worth more than his entire life. <laughs> How much is it worth? 100 grand? Come on, Maybe. Bro. No shot. Yeah, 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 100 grand. Easy. Probably more. <laughs> Go, baby. 
All you. What? Hey, man, get the camera out of my guy's face. He's trying to practice. He's warming up. Hey, what, did, what was it like getting knocked out? What was it like getting knocked out? What was it like getting knocked out? <laughs> What's your All right, I'm ready. Okay, okay. The guy won. The guy won. The guy won. Uh, what was it like knocking out? What was it like knocking? What was it like doing the knocking out? What was no, it like no, doing no. That? You're close. Keep keep working it. What is it? What, you, what is it like having ni nice knockers? Ni knocking out. Knock knocking out. For the land of the free. Boys and girls, we are back. It's been, I don't know how long, feels like forever. Rough and Rowdy 12, live, Charlestown, West Virginia. We got 20 fights. For the first time, we're doing the Play Barstool. The Play Barstool is an all-encompassing app, and inside of the app, there's multiple different games. There's a stool streams game, which came out first, an NFL game when the NFL season started, and most recently, we came out with a Rough and Rowdy app that coincided with the fights last Friday night. The last five fights of the night, Play Barstool app, $25,000, you gotta predict every single fight in the rounds, so winners in the rounds. My name is Tom Owens, and I do all of the Rough and Rowdy promos. I've done all the Rough and Rowdy promos for over two years now. I just heard like some chit chat about the Play Barstool thing, and it sort of just reminded me like, oh, maybe I could like do it or whatever, just like for fun. And so I just made my picks real quick before I went to bed. There's nobody on earth that knows more about rough and rowdy fighters than Tom. He's the savant. He studied more footage. He knows more than the guy who fucking founded rough and rowdy. It's gonna be a fun, interesting, weird 20 fight card night. And here we go, first fight in the uh, Corona Shoot. era. This swing right now, good right, good left. Oh, that hurt him though. Strong ring girl. And she's going right in our face. Yep. There's nothing normal about this environment right now. <laughs> oh, come oh, 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 that's called man. walking into a punch. Oh. And here she is at the reset. He is really putting on the dance show here. Yep. You might as well be dancing alone in your room. There yeah. aren't that many people. He's getting no reaction because there's nobody here. Yep. He is still really dancing, dancing, dancing. He has no intention, it looks like, to get in the <laughs> ring anytime soon. He's up the steps, down the steps. Yep. The step. Oh, they're going oh, at each goodness. other right now. No one can land anything because it's belly to belly, literally. Smokey, I need you to go Jeffrey. What does it mean to go Jeffrey? What does that mean? Ask your mother. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. And that's it. Oh, here we go. We've got a horse in the ring. OK. And here comes Gina Lucille, the jockey. Dave, what a moment. Dave is speechless. Dave is absolutely <laughs> speechless. All right, I'm so confused. That is a real racehorse that has a real name. When I say that, I was stunned. Like, I, you're speechless. I don't know what to believe right now. I think Dave might be in love. I may be in love. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets a crowd going like a little person fight. Just vicious punches. Oh, and Smith goes down at the bell. I think that's it. He, I think that's going to be the he difference. He goes down at the bell. I think that's going to be the difference. It took me halfway through those fights to even realize that my picks were correct so far. And going into the last fight, I think there was eight to ten people left. And I turned to Devlin and I'm like, dude, like, I think I got, like, all these fights, right? Except for this one that's going on right now. Eight people remain and play Barstool. So wow. that's, that's pretty nice. We'll see what happens. One person got this right, they win. $25,000. Wow. Yeah. During the broadcast, they were saying that someone's either going to win $25,000 if there's a knockout or $25,000 if there's a decision. Goes to decision, so someone just won $25,000. When the fight ended, one person won. So it's like one person won $25,000. Oh, that's it. There it is. That Someone is won 25 grand. Someone wow. Just won $25,000. On the first on the ever Play Barstool Rough and Rowdy contest. We have a winner. 36,000 people played, and one person had every single pick exactly correct. And then all of a sudden it says $26,000, you, in all caps. He went 10 for 10. You did? I just. Wait, back up. You won it? I just won. Oh my God, Tom won. Tom won the 25 This guy knows Rough and Rowdy, baby. I am. It was you? Big Cat 
on the broadcast, uh, Wade, Wade Woodruff was getting interviewed, and all of a sudden you hear Big Cat go, no, no, bro. no, and that's no. True. And my heart sunk, because I just knew, I knew, and as he said that, he texted me and just goes, it was Tom Mullins. Tom okay. Mullins? <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait a minute. I was excited as hell, because Tom's the man. And if anybody deserves $25,000, it's me. But if anyone else deserves it, it's Tom Mullins. $25,000 bro. Let's fucking go. The guy that knows the most about Rob and Rowdy, I guess. The video editor of Rob and Rowdy just won. Wait, you got hired? He got hired I don't know. 36,000 people signed up and he won. Bro, no one knows Rob and Rowdy better than Tom Mullins, bro. This guy is fucking... Uh... He's the one, bro. Well, I couldn't be happier. No, well, there's no one more deserving than Tom. Dead ass. Thank you. Tom's so funny because he's such a nice guy. And so I went up to him and I was like, dude, how are you feeling about this? He was like, well, good because I won the $25,000, but bad because I picked against all the fighters who are my closest friends. Shout out to all the fighters that even if I bet against you, are like some of my closest rough and rowdy friends, so I'm sorry, Shizat and Wade Woodruff, I'm sorry. He didn't care about the money, he cared about fracturing his relationships, uh, but he didn't have to worry because he wasn't getting the money anyway. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't feel like it's real, to be honest. <laughs> that's what's your, it, what's that's your mom? That's because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's legally it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll figure out with him, that's like a later issue, like we'll figure out something with him, but it's like he can't win that contest. People that think it's rigged, people that think we told five, ten fighters total exactly what to do and what round and all that shit, like you are fucking crazy. It's an, it's an insane thing to be able to predict that. I mean, it, I guess it, he did watch every, but then again, everyone else could have watched it. Yeah. He, he just, he caught him off. Go back to my hotel room. And I check Twitter and I just see this complete outpouring of love from people that I work with saying that I deserve the money like outright no matter what or whatever just based off my work ethic and everything like that. And just knowing that I was so appreciated for working so hard in general no, just wait. meant a lot. Another successful trip. Why it's a barstool tale as old as time. Content person at HQ sees something weird online, sends Dave a long rambling soliloquy about why they'd like to go somewhere to record something, and Dave replies with a lengthy, sure. So off I went to the Sausage Castle down outside Orlando, Florida in the Swamplands for the ninth annual Veterans Day free blowjob party. I arrived at the golden skull and crossbone gates of partier Mike Busey's 40-something acre property around 5 o'clock as other veterans were just starting to arrive to his mega mansion as well. Out front they had a haircut station where veterans were getting shape-ups and beard trims, many of them for the first time in a long time. They looked like a million bucks. There was also a large barbecue dinner served by ladies in skimpy bikinis. The, uh, the pulled pork? Fantastic and there would be plenty more pulled pork later in the evening. Uh, around 7 p.m., we headed over to the warehouse district of the property for more strippers and a branch-on-branch -branch MMA fight. It was a delight. And then, 8 p.m., a stripper showdown began back in the main living room and on a stage I had eaten on only hours before while porn played over my head. Made sure to wipe up the barbecue sauce so there was no slippage. So, you're welcome for my service. Now, as time was ticking on, I was starting to get nervous. We were getting closer and closer to the free blowjob portion of the evening with Jenny Jizz and her husband, Mike the Cum Artist. She would be the one taking all those veteran dicks at once, and I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. Thankfully, she and her husband were kind enough to sit down for an interview on their 33rd wedding anniversary, no less. And then lo and behold, over the loudspeakers they announced, it was blowjob time. Now, I had thought it would be one at a time going into a tent or something like that. Not the case. It was just a free-for-all of dicks in the living room, and my goodness, there was cum everywhere. I can't unsee it, and I'm still thinking about it, to be honest with you. Uh, it's seared into my mind. Anyways, afterwards, I caught up with some of the vets who got the blowjobs, who said it was an absolute delight. Jenny Jizz was in her element. She was very shiny, I'll tell you that much. I will say overall it was a lovely evening. I could tell all the veterans felt very special 
It was all out of Mike Busey's own pocket. He does it every year, and it was a tale for a Barstool adventure that I won't soon forget. Once we figure out the legalities of blurring out dicks and tits and all the other stuff that I saw, there's gonna be a video coming out that really documents the whole thing. The interview with Jenny Jizz, 100%, and uh, hopefully soon, that'll come out soon, fingers crossed. But until then, you can hear the full story in way more detail on Zero Blog 30, Barstool's military podcast. You don't have to have served to enjoy it, uh, and this is a solid recap. It's in round one of this week's episode, and details get real freaky deaky in there, so check it out. The chord progression I'm thinking of, and then you can freestyle to it. All right. <laughs> Thanksgiving night wasn't a fight. Everyone's got COVID and it's quite a sight. Sunday was a no-go, Tuesday was so slow. Time for football in the middle of the week. Wednesday night, all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think we got a song. <laughs> Can you make a transcript of those lyrics, Rudy? Sure. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. Hump day, hump day, what a day for football. Hump day, hump day, let's watch football. Do you guys like that course? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Especially since some basically went out came up with it. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> Frank's are already demanding songwriting credit on this yeah. one. <laughs> hump day, hump day. So what? It will sing it like oh. hump day. Well, it's not really a song. It is a song. Yeah, but we were like speaking it. But yeah, okay. It's like So it's like AFC North, there's no love lost. When these teams get together, record books get tossed. Wednesday afternoon, yeah, you know what that means. Tell your boss to shove it, cause football's on the screen. So you want to give it a shot, Frank? Yes. Hump day, hump day, what a day for football. Wednesday afternoon means it's time to watch football. Oh, Wednesday afternoon. Three, two, one. Hump day, hump day, what a day for football. Hump day, hump day, Wednesdays after <laughs> football. Wednesday afternoon means it's time to watch. No, football. but what are we doing? Are we doing are the whole thing? Last? Tell your boss to no, shove it. Just, just the, just the shove it. Tell your boss to shove it. One more time. Shove it. Man, light troops, back again. You get me? That's the podcast. You understand? Littest podcast in America for football. You get me? Real football. On that American bullshit, you understand? You can tell I come from London and I came here on a plane. In England, like we didn't really know about Barstool. It's more American, but when I started to check into it, brother, you lot are big still, you get me? You've had like legendary people that I respect highly um, in your videos. So like Triple H, Stone Cold, John Cena, you get me? It's, it's a madness, blood. The Undertaker. So you understand? I feel honored to be fucking with Barstool. We are like one of the biggest clubs in world football. And yeah, me and Zara do this podcast uh, every Monday, every Friday. And we do watch alongs for every game, you get me. And we're just trying to make the thing pop, blood. You get me? Yeah. We need more likes, people, you get me? Man shared it, so obviously, man, more man will tune in now, you understand? Man's active, me there. You don't know. Live and kicking. Active. You get me? Man's got the... Hey, Hennessy, man still... Hey, Hennessy, man. you man need to sponsor Sakuno. man, blood. Because I can't even pull out the bottle because you man are not pushing love, you get me? Yeah. But I'm nervous, blood. I'm not gonna lie, fam. I'm very nervous. The lineup, um, let me give you lot the lineup, blood. We got Leno in goal. We got Ainsley Maitland, Blood Clark now as the right back. That's, but that's only because upon my back. But that's only because that Wallad Bellerin Wait, is suspended. Wait, the man them see it? The man them see it? You see me? The Ainsley, man them see it? You understand? Pick up the man them. That's my dog. We got Holden still in this thing. You get me? Yeah. What a surprise, blood. Uh, Gabriel and Tierney. Yep. Then we've got uh, Sabayos and El Neni. Sabayos is only in there because Xhaka's injured. Big up my brother Jets. Then we've got Pepe. And Ketty is in the tent. Like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to take a shot for that blood. You understand? <laughs> I haven't even eaten today, but I will be taking a shot because Willian has been dropped. So, you understand? Man is back in a shot. Where's your ting? Let's back a shot. Oh, you like Willian actually, so I'm gonna back it on my ones, blood. You get me? Willian on the bench, blood. Big up the man, them. Okay. Ah. Woo! It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it, blood. We're playing so shit, yeah. This is this team's scaring me, bro. And this team shouldn't scare me. 
What do you think of the Arsenal lineup? I feel great. The fact that the fact that Arteta was making changes, I'm I'm, I'm inspired by that. The but are changes. these changes not been, enough? Have they not, been made not, because of what's well? There's there's happened. one there's one that was forced. There's one that's forced. The Granite Chaka suspension. All yeah. the other all the other ones were natural changes. The three the three changes. So he's headed he's headed in the uh, in the right direction. Yeah. He should have dropped a bit more cats, but now that he's dropping people, I feel great about that. Because guess what? It puts every single one of these motherfuckers on goddamn notice. Yeah. <laughs> no none of them assholes have shown up this season. Mm. Troops needed a he needed a partner. He invited me on the podcast. The people like like me, uh, the, the 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 followers like me. Troops extended the offer, which I was extremely grateful for. So now I'm actually getting involved in in the passion, in my passion, the sport that I love. So whether it was before this, so I was doing this same shit, but just not on camera. So now now it's just being on camera kind of deal. So yeah, that's pretty much how we how we uh, started messing with each other. We we see the whole thing differently, pretty much. I I I more. He's more. He's he's after the manager. I'm after the players. So we end up, you know, quarreling and arguing over. It's it's this goddamn team, man. It's the goddamn team that uh, gets people. It gets the fan base fighting. So if this team starts actually winning, none of this bullshit will happen. That's the thing is that it's when it's when the team starts losing, we disagree on why the team is losing. So all they have to do, so I, 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 people are talking troops and I troops and I, it's on the team. All they have to do is just win. But when they start losing, you know, in in the, in the search of uh, trying to figure out what the hell's going on, people tend to fight. A lot of people saying in the chat we're losing, we're terrible. Southampton coming for your club. Before, before the, before I saw the lineup, I was hoping for a draw. Mm. Now, I was hoping for a draw. Now I think it's gonna be minimum draw. I'm hoping we win now, so I'm feeling a whole lot better. I don't know. I don't feel. I mean, you can't feel confident after the run of games that we're on. But that's I don't know. I Me, I don't know, man. I'm, yes, I don't know. I, man. Uh, gotta be optimistic, troops. You gotta be optimistic, bro. How can you be optimistic with this shit, bro? It was it was different because obviously Dave ain't got a clue about football. You get me? He's coming there with his suit, just there to banter, man. You get me? These times, I don't see his NFL team doing really good either. You get me? So we're both in the same predicament right now. You understand? Big Cat, Big Cat kind of knows about football, but he's just a big troll. Big C, call him Big T. You get me? Uh, they, what, They're playing fights. They say, Actually, what they've been first, saying, Dave, is London is white now. now. No, but London's never yeah, been white. Right. How can you not win a league title and, you're, and, and London's white? You man smoke <laughs> fucking heron. I actually... Yeah. <laughs> this man smoke heron blood. You understand? Big up the man named calling Zarbunda in the chat. <laughs> if you know, you know, blood. You understand? We'll leave it at that, cuz. You get me? Big up Bunda oh, in the chat, man. Blood. Look, he used to play for us. He scored, like, over 100 goals. Jack. When's the last time you won a trophy, blood? When's the last time you won a trophy, blood? When's the last time you done this, blood? And it weren't your missus, blood. The only thing you lift up is your cow, blood. Cock, blood. Dickhead. You got a cockerel, blood. I will shoot your cock, blood. Blood. Pigeon looking motherfuckers. You dickhead, blood. You blood. Okay, peri peri chicken, blood. We on about. You got like a group stage. And what second, that? we never won that. Oh. We never won that, blood. Got rock, bro. Blood. Oh, shake. And you see. Fuck that, blood, blood. You fucking won that, blood. My lad, Bob Burgers, blood. Fucking mug, blood. Play, this is the goalie, the guy they played in the FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> that's a rec guy. <laughs> that's a rec league guy. Yeah, but that's a rec league cup. <laughs> nah, but nah, 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 nah. That's Show them who we beat in the final, that's blood. Oh, oh shit, blood. The Donny that pulled the soul now, not Merlin. I'm that Donny, blood, blood. Oh, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. My son has a harder shot. Has than anyone that. ever scored? He's seven. <laughs> brother, brother. Process your blood clot, mother. He's not even looking for Walcott. Look at him. He's not even looking. Blood. Why don't you like the broad blood? <laughs> That's my dude, man! I see how he turned. He turned like when you said I'll take her in. <laughs> Whenever I see you cussing the run, yeah, I crack up. I'm like, oh my god. What do this guy? I, I, I think he's just like an amazing athlete. He's elite. What he does. You want like I'm just he's like, part owner in Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but like money's money, isn't it? Like, so get me that. Like, well, then why are you mad at Cronky? Because that's Money's my money. club. Nah, but that's my club. Yeah, well, he's, 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 he's fucking my club. Came here November 5th. The last time we won was November 2nd. Today is the 18th of fucking December. Right now, we're the girl in the club that goes home with no man. We're the man in the club that goes home with no gal. You understand? You know when you're in the club just spending money on the gal all night. 
You think you're going to secure the bag. And then next thing, you go to the toilet. You go to the toilet, you come back, she's walking out the club with some next Donny. You understand? That's what we're doing, blood. Buying drinks all night and getting nothing. You understand? Not even a not even not even a wank job. <laughs> you understand? Not even a wank mate. You understand? Not even a, what is it? A hand job? Yeah, you know, yeah. Wank job. Not even a hand job, blood. It's peachy. Oh, oh man! Oh. What I tell you about Walker? What I tell you about Walker? Oh. What I fucking tell you about Walker? What I fucking tell you? This fucking team, bruv! This and he's celebrating you, fucking pussy, yo. Of course he is. I don't blame him. He's laughing at us. What do you mean is he celebrating the goal? Fucking good for my over, though. Fuck your over. Ah, that's what? very mean. I've been supportive of you. That's very mean. I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings right now. <laughs> well, how are you? Vacation <laughs> time is <laughs> here. <laughs> da, 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 I'm getting da, da, back to that. You're not going to be in a premiership no more. You realize how bad it is It's all right. All right. Like, look, You're not going to be in a premiership no more. Relegate. It's all right. Relegation time is here. What did I get myself into? When does... Relegation become like a real deal. Now, <laughs> oh god, like two of them that literally had a fucking calamity together. This Donny is just dead because he's pissing down in London right now. You They're fucking prick. Good. We're looking for a goal and you put a Bamiang on the left and Ketty yeah, down the middle. Black. Black. Oh my, what is going on? You got the <laughs> go fuck yourself, Black. Yeah, a little lockdown for a week. Have you got this in your head yet, Black? I'm gonna sheik you in a minute. Why are you yelling? You're gonna sheik Za? <laughs> what the fuck? Brother, brother, brother. Boss head, so Campbell there, man. Fucking Zoolando. How fucking dare you, blood, blood? You little bench boy. Oi! 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 Are you fucking mad? Oi, blood! Look at this pussy on you, cunt! That is deep! Blood. Bro. And even the AK you push when Saka put it in there. What was that? Brand new pussy! Fucking bunch of pricks. Okay, blood. Here it comes! Like a Mets fan. Lord, how are the aims of all people? Lord of mercy, we had God. Run, you fucking moron! 